Fuck. That's We're what you here, do, dude. For the next two hours, Fucking talking guy. pro wrestling. Yes. We're here. Uh, <sighs> people are starting to file into the chat room our right regulars. about now. Our regulars are, are showing up. The people that could give a shit about MMA what or UFC. They're starting to file into the live chat room, wzronline.com, slash chat, wzronline.com, slash chat. Lots and lots of people in there, as always, tonight. Probably a bunch Flat. more coming here in about nine or ten minutes <clears throat> from now. They will begin to file into the chat room. I like that one. Because they're used to... Uh, Ryan oh, Clark no. sucks. Oh, no. Ryan Clark sucks. Ryan Clark sucks. I found a way to say it with the right amount of syllables. Ryan Clark sucks. Instead of Ryan Clark sucks. No, no, no. Ryan Clark sucks. Yeah, here's what's better. Let's do a show. Let's do a show. Two hours. Pro wrestling. Two hours Talking ten. Monday Night Raw. Two, two hours, hours eight minutes. Two hours ten minutes. Yeah. Well, nine two hours minutes, nine, nine minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, we're going to be uh, talking Monday Night Raw. Is you got Raw up? Here? It's hot in here. You should probably get Raw up on there. And, yeah, yeah. And all that stuff. You want me to turn the air on? Yeah, why don't you do that while I get uh, Monday Night Raw up. Turn it off and take call. We should have been a little bit more prepared before we came well, back listen, here. We prepared for an interview and yes. then a show. Well, anyways, we'll load up our uh, Monday Night Raw report hey, from see, last you night. you were telling me that yes. while I was doing the interview, let me get back on camera here, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. that they were saying... Oh, like, look at this sexy beast. Yeah, on if they were saying sexy chunky beast, they were saying that the audio was much better with me wearing the Absolutely. headset. Absolutely, that's why well, we need we to get... we got to get two headsets, yes, but yes. how do we do it without... Cutting, you know what I mean? You can't you plug. Have, you have two USB ports, I believe. Yes. That we can plug two One headphones. One has to be in. the mouse. That's what oh, it controls that's right. the calls. That's it controls right. the music. It controls the stream. It can you get an extra USB port and install it in a computer somehow? That's what I'm asking. Daniel Humphreys, John Morgan, George Romero, some of our smart fans that really know technical stuff. Got to be a way to up and let it, us know: uh, Is there a way with a regular laptop that has two USB ports, both of which are used, one yeah, for a no, microphone? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I can finish a thought once in my life. One already plugged in with a microphone. Finish your, what? finish your thought. I'm in the middle of it. He still interrupts. One with a microphone already plugged in. The other with a mouse that we need plugged in. So those two are taken. One mic's covered though. So we need to find a way. For a third USB, for another mic. We We've done this before. We've tried it. Why we did it on the air. A, why do we need a USB port? We don't. But that takes is, away the speak, the audio. It takes away the audio. We've we've done this on the air. We switched them in the middle of the show. Remember? The audios didn't work. But if you you see what he's doing, he's got one here. This is a microphone. This is a speaker or a headphone. So we've got these. These aren't USB. They're regular plugs. We use a USB mic and headset for our audio for the callers. We hear them. And our microphone for the entire show we talk to. The other is the mouse that we use to control everything on the computer that has the camera we're looking at. Any tech whizzes out there, email Ryan, webmaster at prowrestlingscoops.com. Hit him up on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. You guys know the locations. Tell him how we can do it. The audio would only come out of this headset yes. and not both headsets. Yes. Okay. And when we plug that you. in, it takes the audio away from this and the mic away from this and makes the mic go to that. Right. So, yeah, it's but we've right. tried it before. I, got I remember I trying got it. Because that would be easier to wear right? and even easier to sit here because the, the microphone's longer. We could have it like a fucking real mic like sitting You're right. right there. You're right. We tried it. Well, I mean, there's, there's because if we could make that happen, if you could wear a headset, I could wear a headset. It would look cool, eh? Hey, we'd be sitting here like Jim Ross and Jerry uh, Lawler, you know, or awesome. Jim Ross and Chell Sonnen from Friday Night. <laughs> uh, sorry, Jim. Man. He gave us a great interview for well, MMANews.com. Uh, and it was a great interview, but I did not like his uh, commentary. He was not good, man. Debut. A lot of people were praising him after that I, show. It dude. was a mixed bag. Was it? The wrestling community thought he was good, obviously, because he right. lost the MMA community that I was reading. Yeah, mm -mm. they didn't like it. Really. They all thought Chel Sonnen was awesome, which is exactly what I said. I thought Sonnen is he did. He you gotta was, understand, Sonnen has never called a show. Dude, He's yeah. never called a show before. That was his first show. First show, yeah. calling the action as a uh, as the play by play. You want to take calls or no? Uh, I believe that's Jeff. That's no? Cali. Is right. that Cali? I think so. We haven't heard from him in a Go while. Ahead. Let's see what's up with Cali. Good. I won't be able to hear. Uh, you. Caller, you're live on WCR TV. What's up? Hey guys, it's John. John, John Morgan. John Morgan. 
Yeah, hold, hold on one second. Let me, uh, we gotta turn the, uh, the air conditioner off. It's, it's bad, uh... Perfect. I got a remote. What am I doing? <laughs> Do you? All right, we can hear it now. What's up, man? Yeah. Uh, listen, what you guys wanna do, we can say it in the chat room. Go to Walmart, go to Radio Shack, go to Best Buy, any electronic store. Ask for a USB hub. Ah, and basically yes. what that's gonna do, it's a like hub, H-U-B. And uh, basically, what that's going to do is you're going to plug it into a USB it's port, like a split and on the other end, it's going to have like three or four other USB ports yes. that'll give you extra access. You know how you, you do an plug extension in, in your outlet, like yeah, for more right, plugs? Right, right. I got you plug you. that in the computer exactly. and give you more USBs. You're absolutely right. I didn't know that they had I those where you could plug it into a USB port, and then it's basically you get three or four different yes. plugs based off that. It's the same thing that you that's do. That's exactly what it does. With an adapter that you plug into the wall, where you've yes. got you know five you. or six. All yes. right, well we'll look into that, man. That's that's who awesome. is this? John who? John Morgan. John Morgan. We love John Morgan. Thanks, Get your John. t-shirt, brother. Yeah. All right. You got it. Awesome. Cool, awesome. man. All right. See you later. Guys. All right. Be All good, right. man. Thanks for the call. He's a good dude. And thanks for the help. Oh, dude, I love John Morgan. He's a good dude. He's a great fan. Great He's fan. a good dude. Uh, all right, so we'll look into that. And I'm sure they're cheap. I'm sure they're only 5 10 bucks, something like Even that. Even if it's 20 yeah, it's, it's for our show. we got to invest, man. All right, so we'll do that. So we'll pick up a, uh, a I've USB. always wanted to blow up our logo and have it as... You know how RF Video has My that? My father can do that. Yeah. My father can do that. Do you know what I'm talking about? RF Video, how they yes. have that big fucking backdrop in the hotel that where they do interviews. Like, they just did an Eric Bischoff shoot interview. That was amazing. It was awesome. Did you watch it? I saw the trailer. Which was oh about my God. 15, 15 minutes The long. whole thing was like four and a half hours. Yeah. I watched it. Michael Schalick, MMANews.com. Right. He watched it. I sent him the link. Right. Uh, we both watched it. We both thought it was awesome. Right. right. But yeah, they have a big, beautiful backdrop, which is just their logo on a giant, like how you blow up a poster I've into a, or a picture I've into a poster. Yeah. Uh, we could blow our logo up, and instead of having t shirts, you know, thumbnail, uh, thumbtack together. You know, that's what my father does. He does the Is photographs. It? He goes out and does the photographs. I didn't know what your dad the, f the pictures, uh, there's one picture of, you know, it's like fall colors out in the living room. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yeah, up. yeah, He took a photo. That's right. I've up. seen him on Facebook. He'll take, like, pictures of the Grand yeah. Canyon or whatever the fuck Absolutely. and have, like, and beautiful he, pictures. He blows them up. So yeah. if I could take the WZR logo that we have, basically right here, of and course. then blow it up, we could well, have the same graphic the wall you gave him us. to make t-shirts out of. Right. He who now shall not be spoken. But you give that logo to a guy yes. like your dad or somebody Absolutely. who could do that. Absolutely, we gotta Absolutely. do that. Man. It would look so we cool. Should do it. it would look so. And cool. then he could send it out. Yeah, yeah, that would be much. Because look, if we both move our heads to the left, ready? Boom! You can see yeah. our logos, but our right, heads right. cover them up, and all you see is the back. It was my idea to do this, yeah, and yeah, I said, let's watch this. Go back. Yeah, ready? yeah, ready? ready? <laughs> but yeah, no, it was my idea when we switched from a radio show to a video show. I said, let's put a bunch of t-shirts up yeah. this way and then one flip backwards. So that we had something. So A, there would be a nice backdrop that would be part of the show, our logo and stuff. But right. all we get is the back and, and yeah, pretty much probably nobody can really read that. And if they can, all it says is, you won't believe this shit. It doesn't say nothing about WZR. You know, it's got the domain. Right. But right. the logo is the one that should be in the middle and the, all the other ones should be flipped. You know, because all you see is the bottom of the black. Right. Right. You know, these are t-shirts up here too, guys, but yeah. you don't see the logo, you just see the bottom half, which is just black. Right. But yeah, well, I'll look into that. I'll definitely, uh, mm. definitely look into that. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're right at 8 o'clock now, so this is where we'll be... Yeah, do you still have... Shows up. Yeah. Look at the chat. I don't know. They're getting there now. Up. It's like they don't read any website. They just know, hey, is it 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock on Tuesday Oh, it's 8 o'clock. Oh. WCROnline.com slash chat. Let That's me it. get there. That's uh, dot com slash chat. <clears throat> Motherfucking dot com. There you go. Chat. They just know to go there. But um, though I was asking, did you still have the T-shirt? They're asking in the chat. You still have the T-shirt sale going on, or that was a one-day sale, two-day sale? Uh, because we're live tonight, we can we can do it. Uh, Give them the offer, man. Send me an email. Webmaster at prowrestlingscoops.com. Most of you guys that and John ordered Morgan the, uh, said he got his. Most of you guys that ordered T-shirts. The other ones that did, we just sent them out. Gotten them. Yes. Literally, uh, we just sent them out. Couple, uh, couple more went out yesterday, but most of you guys should have them. The only yeah, yeah. people that should not have them by now are people that are <coughs> international. Which uh, I know that uh, uh, Ian Jones, Ian Jonesy, Jonesy something like it's that. Ian Jones, but he calls himself Jones. In the uh, chat room, yeah. I've got your email, bro. Uh, we're gonna get it out to you. The problem with you, man, is to to ship over to Norway. I mean, it's like. $30. Can you believe we've got people in Norway like sitting there 30, watching us right it's now? It's like $30. Listen, check it's this out. I when I point right now, guess who I'm pointing at? 
I'm pointing at Somebody Ireland. In Norway. I'm pointing at Ireland. Yeah. I'm pointing at Norway. Yeah. I'm pointing at England. I'm pointing yeah. at Canada. I'm pointing crazy. at a bunch of different states in the United crazy. States. That's what I'm pointing at right it now. It is crazy. It's fucking nuts. It's worldwide. I remember guys showing us pictures, their screenshot of what they were doing. Right. They had it, their computer plugged up to their big screen with a big surround sound stereo. I remember you showing me this picture. a big old TV, right. And right. it was a big, giant screen of just our faces and those fucking shirts. It is crazy. Which is intimidating because, is. holy shit, these faces on a big, giant screen. Oh, mm. Jesus Christ! But you know they love us, man, and I love the fact that we've got such a, a diverse international I say audience. It. I it's say amazing it on my Facebook page all the time yeah. that we have the most diehard loyal yeah, fans in the world. I mean, we'll be watching Monday Night Raw. I I don't think I've ever put a, a message up on Facebook that says, "Hey, can you guys please bring a WZR TV sign to we've Raw?" We've never once asked. Never once and asked. It's there every week. But yet. <laughs> week after week, not it doesn't, well, it doesn't matter weekend. where they are either. Like, oh, in Pennsylvania, one week, and one week, and they're in Ottawa, and like, holy shit, these guys people, are bringing signs. People will what was come the pay per view. People was, will come to me on Facebook and say, "You see the WZR TV sign in, it, in the audience?" It was the last. What was the last pay per view? United Champions. United Champions. It was a Sheamus match. I remember they went up to the crowd with the match, and that they was had, in the front they had row. A dry then. erase board. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. in the front row? It was right near the stage. What right? in the aisle way? Yeah, right, right, right in the stage. Not right. the, this is the aisle way right here. Right. If you go like this though, right, right facing the stage, and then he there's was, people here, and he then there. you go down there. Yeah. He was right there while they were fighting. Yeah. So like you, you're yeah. right there. He's holding the sign up like right behind right their behind head. Him. It was awesome, man. It, it was, was amazing. Awesome. And then there was uh, there was a guy. Fuck, who uh, was it? Rygal was with Dixie Carter with his arm on her like yeah, this, with the wearing WZR the WZR t-shirt. t-shirt. It was awesome, man. We didn't and have anybody a, to do that. Uh, there was a sign. There was a green sign a month or two ago that said, "I'm a WZR guy" or something like that. In the it's in a Heyman guy, right yeah, on Raw. Yeah, yeah, awesome, yeah. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. So anyone who's ever asked, asked so that's how much that they're passionate. They love it. It blows crazy, my man. fucking mind. We're just two crazy. douchebags sitting here staring at a fucking laptop, talking about Raw and interviewing Jake Shields, and then they're like, "Yo, this is awesome." I see really it all the time. This man. is awesome. The most diehard, okay. loyal fans <laughs> on the planet. Love them. It's, it's awesome. Love them. And for oh. a while, you know better than anybody. I didn't give a fuck about this. I know. It was my I show. Know. I said, here, take it. I don't want to do it anymore. It's boring. I don't like wrestling anymore. It sucks. But then take you it. see the amount of support and the people that show up every week. It's you crazy. did something with it that I didn't have. We had crazy. the show. We had the interviews. We had this and that. But I wasn't like you. I, I wouldn't go in out and... and well, there was no Facebook back then. Right, right, right. But I, I wasn't one-on-one with the fans. You sit there and chat with them all fucking day. So they became such a passionate right, right. fan. Whereas back in the day, because we were on big sites, we'd have tons of listeners and fans. But they didn't, like, they weren't passionate about us. They would just listen if we had a guest they wanted to hear. Right, right, right. You got it to the point where they're like, yo, WZR, <laughs> WZR. You want to take it? Caller, on. you are live on WZR TV. What's going on? What's going on, Clark? It's Stephen Grabeck in the chat room. Steven Steven Bay. Bro, what do you Steven got? You got a joke for me tonight, brother? Buddy, I just want to say nobody circles the fucking wagons like the Buffalo Bills. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man. <laughs> Stealing a line from uh, from uh, ESPN, Chris uh, uh, Cos- Berman. Uh, Berman. Corn- uh, Who ESPN. Is it? Berman, yeah, and, Chris- and oh, Chris- Lions. <laughs> Yes. Back, 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 back. You, you know what? On. You know what? Well, we got him on the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how about it? Let's talk a little bit of NFL okay. from this past. I could, because I was, to be honest with you, until yeah. you brought it up, I was going to completely forget about I wish the you NFL would've. this Sunday. Wish but I'm would've. glad my boy Steven called up. And let's yes. talk a little NFL. So we're in two different fantasy leagues. We're in Dan's League over here. We're in the WZR TV League that we've got going on, right? Mm-hmm. In addition to that. Yeah. Buffalo Bills, mm-hmm. Detroit Lions, yeah. this past Sunday. Correct. Matt Boone, mm-hmm. talking a bunch of bullshit. A whole bunch of bullshit going in Sunday about these Lions, this, that, and the other thing. To my recollection. Yeah. To my recollection. Yeah, indeed. 17, dude. 14, and the game winning. <laughs> 58-yard field goal by Dan Carpenter yes, to sir. win it. In addition to that, okay. the whole media, mm-hmm. the the stories coming out of the NFL this week, mm-hmm. we're in Detroit, Michigan. These Lions fans defi- decide to take 
laser pointers. I saw the video, yeah. Laser pointers and point them in the eyes of Kyle Orton and Dan Carpenter, our kicker, trying to cheat. Yeah. Trying to cheat your way to win the game. And it didn't work. And we still beat you. <laughs> I we know. still beat you anyway. Listen. And we still beat I'm you anyway. Way. Listen, I pulled the brass knucks out of my tights. I blasted you. The ref didn't even see it. You still got the three count on me. All right? I got it. And your shit ate. And boom. And yes. boom. Hey, your shitty ass kicker missed. Three, three field goals. In the I'm game. aware. Thank you. This yes, fucking guy, Stephen Gravek, I thought you liked us both, man. He said, you're shitty-ass kicker. You <laughs> son of a Jesus. Ste Stephen Gravek, on the count of three. Don't do it. One, no. two, uh -uh. three. Nobody circles the wagon. The wagon. Oh, like the Buffalo, Buffalo Bills. Bills. All right, guys, take care. Take care, man. Brother. Thanks for the call. How about that Buffalo Bills? I don't want to talk about it. How about that oh, Buffalo that. Bills? He's from Canada. Yeah? Yeah. Another example, right? Uh, Buffalo was supposed to move to Canada until they got bought out. Oh, I was just watching the other day. I was watching ESPN 30 for 30. I forget the exact date. It was like June 17th, 1994. It was the day that O.J. Simpson ran in the white Bronco. <laughs> and it was also the day Arnold Palmer played his last U.S. Open uh, Majors tournament. It was the day that, or the day of the parade where the New York Rangers won the NHL, NHL Stanley Cup for the first time in like 54 years. All that happened on the same day? It was day? the same day that the Knicks were against the Rockets in the NBA Finals. This all happened on the all same day? All on the same day. Really? It was a documentary. And uh, I just remembered, the only reason I brought it up is they were showing clips, you know, of the old school O.J. Simpson versus this murderer guy. Right. Alleged, sorry, alleged murderer guy. Come on. Uh, whatever. He's in jail now that. anyway. They right. got right. butt up or something different. But they were showing him. Did you know he was a Buffalo Bill in his... Prime? OJ? Yeah. OJ used to play for yeah. Buffalo back in the day. I knew yeah. about Thurman Thomas because like we said last week, when I was a kid, Detroit Lions all the way, same way you've been Buffalo all the way. We stuck yeah. through some shitty years with our yeah. teams, but back in the, well, both of our childhoods, you're a little older than me, fucking old guy, uh, it was uh, it was Barry Sanders for the Lions, Thurman Thomas for the Bills. They yeah. were like two, if you include Emmitt Smith, the two of the top running backs in the league. Right. Uh, but Absolutely. yeah, I forgot that OJ Simpson had played for your Bills. I gotta tell you, man, Buffalo, uh, the guys in the chat room last week, they were right, man. Uh, EJ Manuel, Bench, yeah. and uh, they Kyle put in Orton. Kyle Orton. Mm -hmm. I didn't know until you guys told me last week, but uh, I'm a big fan of Kyle Worked Orton. Worked out well for you. You know, Kyle Orton's been a starter in the NFL before. And listen, EJ is probably going to become a big NFL star. You think? A couple of years from now. How, how many years? He's two years in? I years. think he's two years in. So maybe, yeah. I think I think last year was his first year, and this is his second year. Maybe his third year, something like that. But I think EJ is going to become a star. It's just, you know, it's like Geno Smith. It's like Geno Smith for uh, for the Jets, right? Mm -hmm. They benched Geno on Sunday and uh, put back in Michael Vick. You and I were watching. Yeah, that game. yeah. Michael Vick went back in. Oh well, I only seen the one play and they put him in. Yeah, yeah Geno had they, been they playing. Did, they did bench Geno though. Uh, did they? They did okay, bench I him. I, I did find that out. So after the half, they came back and started. To wrap up football, because we, no, we had a lot yes, to get to. Uh, but, fantasy but, football. Fantasy. I lost in both leagues. In both leagues. I could have won. I benched the wrong people. I fucked up. Peyton Manning had a great game, but the guy he was throwing everything to. Right. Demarius Thomas? Thomas? Demarius Thomas. Is that how you say it? Okay. For I Denver. Same, same Denver. Peyton. Both teams. Demarius. I had Peyton. The guy I was playing had Demarius, Demarius Thomas. Thomas. So every time Peyton put up points, Demarius Thomas For the most part, up yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Well, in the end, it was the exact same points, at least in Dan's league. In one of the leagues. Am I allowed right. to say the name? In our friend's league and offline life. Right. It was right. the exact same points. Right. Right. But there's no way every pass he threw was to that one guy. So how did that right. happen? I don't know. But right. yeah, that's how it worked out. So. so your Lions lost. I lost both fantasy games. I lost to the Bills. It was a bad week fucking, for you. When they it kicked was that a field bad goal, week. You, I don't know which you marked out more for the Rock. Uh, surprise return on Raw, which wasn't that big of a surprise. Probably you had beautiful. posted about it yeah, before yeah. the show. We put it up. I had helped you write it and shit, but you had posted it right it up. Not right before, just a couple hours before the show. Right. So it didn't right. catch him off that guard that much. I didn't agree with it personally, but I, I, you know, I helped you with it. So he marks out when The Rock comes out, but he really marked out when the I could not I fucking hear crazy. it. I was in the middle of I writing. Went crazy. I was actually in the middle of writing my uh, Jim Ross column about how I thought he didn't do that good with right. commentary, which we'll get into in a minute. Right. Uh, I was in the middle of posting that, and then you're like, oh, it's kind of quiet in there. How about them bills, motherfucker? <laughs> I hear this, and I'm like, and I had already known what happened, and I'm like, I, I was quite upset because we were close the whole game, but we were winning the whole game. Uh -huh. And then right at the fucking end, we lose, which is an old Lions trademark, and... 
Never got to hear the end of it. The eight yard field goal is not if a chip you shot. You can imagine. Either. It's not a chip shot. You can imagine. How many times have we been in debates where if he's right and I'm wrong, how do I never hear the end of it? He never lets it look. Imagine the Bills beating the Lions with a fucking 60 yard field goal. 58. Uh, I'm just rounding it up to make it sound nice. 60 <laughs> fucking yards at the last second. With laser pointers in their eyes. Yes, sir. He fucking yes, blew sir. up, bro. Cheating Detroit Lions fans. Fans. Say, we cheat. didn't cheat. Trying God to cheat. It. You would have been the first one in that stadium with a laser no, no, no. pointer yourself, I said, you we, asshole. You know how you talk if you're a fan. We <laughs> won this week. No, they won. You watched. Uh, you know, like last Sunday. They lost. I watched. Yeah. Then. But, no, I, I, I said they didn't cheat because the Lions didn't cheat. The Lions. Fans cheated. Fans cheated. Weren't they in yeah. Buffalo, though? They were in Detroit. They were in Detroit. Oh, so we lost it, huh? <laughs> why would, it, why would it, uh, somebody in Buffalo... Because there's still a couple of fans here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. How'd I do in fantasy this week, by the way? I don't way? want to talk about it. How'd I do? I don't want to talk about it. Did I do okay? I just explained how bad I did. You can explain how good you did. Leave me alone and drink my beer. I did great in fantasy. I won in Dan's League. I won in the WZR League. My Buffalo Bills won on Sunday. They beat the Detroit Lions. It was John amazing. Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. Where's the theme song yet? John Cena sucks. Look at him trying John to change Cena the subject. Sucks. Look at him trying to change the subject. John Cena trying sucks. Trying to transition into Monday Night Raw where we're going Cena next. Sucks. I had a great weekend in the NFL. What's Ryan Clark had a great weekend. <laughs> Ryan Clark had a great weekend. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I did awesome. You did great. Anyways, uh, good enjoy luck. it because it doesn't happen often. Nobody circles the wet like the buffalo. What's that comment from? I don't know. Chris Berman. Oh yeah, he ESPN. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's get into it, man. Uh, we'll get the plugs out of the way. We'll get into it. Monday Night Raw from last night. We got. Oh, about is it John Morgan that beat? He's bragging. I beat Matt Boone. Oh, is that who beat you? He said again. The John, so I guess yeah. congratulations. Woo. He calls us up. And doesn't he got and beat by He's got Morgan. class. Stephen Grabant calls should, in. You should have rubbed it in his Stephen face. Stephen Grabant calls you in. You should have rubbed it in his fucking face. Stephen Grabant calls in. And how about the bills circling the wagons? Where the quote is. John Moore oh, also man. called in earlier tonight, and he didn't fucking mention it. That's didn't a, even mention it. That's a gentleman. Yeah. Thank you, John. In the didn't chat, he was, in the chat, he's quite sure to didn't mention it. Didn't even mention it, Jesus. Oh, in the chat room, he's mentioning it quite often. Absolutely, so. absolutely. But should have called yeah. you out on it. He should have. But anyway, I would have, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, you motherfucker! You know, what am I gonna say? <laughs> he beat me. So let's get these plugs out of the way, and then we'll get into it. Monday Night Raw from uh, last night. We're gonna. Talking the news and the Who rumors won? over the. Uh, Me and you played each other in fantasy last week. Who won that game? You did. Thank you. I honestly didn't remember. I Jesus. swear to God, I didn't remember. So I was about to brag, and then I thought in my head, "Wait, did I win?" We're going of, back. See how? Well, we, no, 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 I swear to God. God. I swear to God. In my head, I was like, "Oh, I can get him." Who won when we played each other last week? Not the Bills Lions. Me, you. And then I thought, "Oh, wait, did I lose or did I win?" I don't even remember. I'm going to sound stupid if I'm bragging. We're not talking about last week. I know, but I'm trying to give you some kind of comeback. I don't have much to brag about, man. You're trying to go back to last week. Yeah. Trying to fucking take me out here. goddamn right. I'm trying to gloat over here. I kicked his ass. Having a great week, and you take it back to last week. Fucking circling a goddamn Ryan Clark wagon and then kicked his ass. (laughs) (laughs) Ryan Clark sucks. Here we go. Ryan Clark. Plugs, yes. the official website of WZR TV Tuesdays, WZRonline.com. Motherfucking.com. We are on Facebook, yes. Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZR Army, YouTube.com slash WZR Archive, and we're on Twitter as well. Go to WZRonline.com, top navigation bar, social media tab, drop down menu. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. WZR Online. .com, the official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. We've also got a live chat room yes, on do. and in progress right now. Lots and lots of people in there as always. Go? go to WZRonline.com. Oh, slash chat. WZRonline.com. Slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people in there as always tonight. Monday Night Raw from last night. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I thought the show sucked. It sucked burnt black meat. And then um, up Who until no penis? up until the light meat, the rock, came out and made oh, the show great. Meat. I was trying to find something because he's a light black guy. Um, 
Like I gotta tell you, yeah. um, we will load up the uh, the Monday Night Raw report. What did you guys think in the uh, in the chat room of last night's Raw? And just because the Rock, you know, returned, yeah, that doesn't make the great yeah, that, show. Does, that doesn't make th- his fifteen minutes didn't make three hours. Like, oh, what a great show overall. That segment was amazing. Absolutely, the whole show though. Right. Mm. Jesus yeah. Christ. I get, uh, uh. Let us know in the uh, chat room. Give it a school letter grade A, B, C, D, F. I guess we can do the grade now. Well, we'll run it down and then we'll give the grades after okay. after we go That's through it. That's better because, yeah, I kind of tend to forget yeah, exactly right. how I have it, an impression. Right. But right. specifically, I don't exactly remember you everything. You came in to me last night and you had said, and we'll get into this here in a little bit. I don't want to expand Where on it too it? much uh, tonight, but... It was basically in the main the event. Thing? It was it was it was the main event. I made a point to go on Facebook and say I do not predict this you at did. all. You did absolutely. He absolutely. My thoughts that I gave him out loud and ran with it. I I it, thought you were right. It made honest. sense. It made perfect but sense. I explained to you also um, why it couldn't happen. And we'll get into it here in in just a little bit. But in yes. the opening segment, um, it was basically Seth Rollins. Uh, comes uh, out. Yeah. Kicks off uh, this week. Storms show. to the ring. Storms yeah. to the ring and uh, starts cutting a promo. And then it looks like Jamie Noble and Joey Mercury are kind of the the new like the Gophers. Gerald. Gerald they're Briscoe. the new uh, what they call them, the Stooges. The Stooges. Yes, right. They're exactly what they are. It's so far, exactly it. Yeah. Right. At least for the last. What's two weeks, with the right. hot dogs? We'll get into that too. Okay. We'll get into that too. So uh, Seth Rollins comes out and uh, basically cuts a promo and uh, he's bitching and whining and bitching and whining. And Noble and Mercury come out and they say, "Come on, they're get outside out. of the ring, Let's looking go. into the ring, and they're basically telling them, like, hold on, this is about to happen. Don't do this because this is about.' They're like trying to warn him. They're they're trying to warn him about something. Right. What it right. is, we Some, don't know. Something's going to happen. But we like, find get out, out of the ring in a come, second. Come yeah. Up. By the way, yes. they aired a highlight video package uh, right before Raw came on the yes. air. The Open Raw, they aired a highlight. And you and I brought up last week where Dean Ambrose had a great line about saying something along the lines of, would you do send the Cruiserweight division out to fucking... And they played it. So and probably they played it. Because we so had made a comment also on the show after we had said that was probably something that's not in the script because... Blah, blah, blah. And then maybe backstage they would make a big deal out about it, but they'd be like, "Well, it was with the cruiserweight line." Now, the, obviously, the, it wasn't that, because no, they no, no, no. didn't with, have to with, include that. With that being said, when they aired the video to open Raw, yeah. was that an, an improv line from from Dean Ambrose last week? And WWE loved it. They loved it so much that they included it in the video packs to open Raw this week. It was or either. was it a scripted line? He was it was one of those two. What do you think? It, it was, was the opposite. Last week is what I was trying to say is we we had speculated amongst ourselves that on it was the air improvised. That it was improvised because yes. it just seemed like one of those no no lines. And I still think it was. And we had said obviously because we wanted to make sure people didn't think like oh it was this big fucking thing backstage no. afterwards. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. you motherfucker how dare yeah. you! It but was, we had said maybe somebody right. pulled him aside and what's up with that cruiserweight line? Where'd that come from? You know, kind of like that wasn't part of your promo. But you and I had both said... He seems to be one of the guys that goes that off script a little bit, a little bit here and there, you know, which the better guys do I think get away st- with. I think he still did last I agree. Week. I, think, I think the first, you gave me two options. Right. Was it an ad lib that afterwards they were like, that's pretty good? Yeah, yeah. Or was it part of the script and we just were fooled because it was, you know, didn't seem like a script kind of comment? Right. I think it was an ad lib lived that they were like that was pretty fucking good that was pretty fucking good yeah. and the fact that they included it just in, a guess I don't know and that's we're definitely both yeah. guessing but uh so they edited it into the opening packet it was just interesting to see well that because they're going to be not part of the storylines but they're involved in TV no well Mercury's who you're referring to when he said I think they're going to be there week after week as the students yes yeah, but my point is like they could include because if they they wouldn't just include an off comment non scripted joke just because oh that was funny mm-hmm. unless it had some kind of relevance and because they're about to throw Mercury and Noble out there hey get out of the ring something about oh, that right. it right. fits because he reminds you they remind you of it in the in the opening segment hey they send the cruiserweight division out after me right and then right. two minutes after the show starts there they come again so it's like yeah it reminded everybody about it, you know exactly um so. Rollins is out there. He's cutting a promo saying everybody in the back wants... You that, know, I wants hope you know what I was doing just now. Well, 
Because you didn't seem to be reading anything. I was babbling. I was so reading the raw report so, so that you, I could recap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, I got you. Uh, so, Rollins said that cut from uh, blah, 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 saying everybody wants a piece of him in the back. And while well, normal people would say, you know, there's a target on my back, I love it. Yes. You know, I, I, I like this shit that there's a target on my back. John Cena. John Cena's music hits. Uh, Cena comes down. To, well, like uh, you said, uh, Noble and Mercury Mark's came out and tried to warn him, and then he started saying him. that kind of stuff, and apparently that's what they were warning him about, which is that right, Cena right. or the So Cena comes out and uh, tries to attack Rollins. He does, but Rollins then Rollins quickly runs gets off. away. Yeah. Right, and that's where uh, Dean Ambrose... Well, he uh, runs, Rollins he runs away. Rollins runs away from Cena, goes into the crowd just to get the fuck away from him, He's backing up in the crowd. He's looking at Cena. Turns he's around and smiling. There's, there's he's Ambrose. almost smiling like, ah, you didn't get me, Cena, right. you motherfucker. Right. And then out of nowhere, oh shit, there's right. Ambrose. Right. But he quickly scurries away from that as right. well. And this leaves Ambrose and Cena, if I'm not mistaken, in the ring together. And then the authority comes out. Am I? Uh, they were in the ring together, and then well, here's yes, what it was. Cena was in the ring, and Orton like or Ambrose like sat on the apron. Right. And then the authority came out. And they announced the main event, which is going to be Ambrose and Cena against... Yeah. It's, it's basically going to be a handicap match. It's going to be Ambrose and John Cena against well, they the They came out and they said, John you Cena two seem to be on the same page again, so... Pain. Randy Orton. I'm sorry. Well, it, it fits in because they, the authority come out, like you said, and they see Ambrose and Cena, and they see what he just did with Rollins, both of them. And they said, oh, well, let's see, because they had been having some friction mm -hmm. the last few weeks, Cena and Ambrose. They've been doing a slow tease of them. Right. Uh, which we'll talk about more later, obviously, uh, based on the Hell in a Cell Everything com comes back Full around circle, later. Yeah. It circles the wagon. Circles the wagon. Nobody. Heard the rumors, right? Nobody. Uh, but, yeah, so. <laughs> they ain't rumors. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> they ain't rumors. It's fact <laughs> after somebody. God damn it, it is. But, uh, no, he, they, yeah, you guys seem to be on the same page again, so here's what we're going to do. Tonight's main event. You guys are in a team, and you're gonna get you're you're gonna get your chance to get your hands on Seth Rollins right. and his partner. And I forget which order they said it, but it doesn't matter. And Randy partner, Orton, Randy Orton, and, and their partner, right. Kane, in a three on two handicap. So you've got match. a three on two handicap match, which so later think, turned into yeah. a three on one, which we'll get into here in just a little bit. Um. Oh, they announced that uh, before they went to the commercial break, uh, due to the incident that happened last week on Raw. Here's the deal. Oh God, right? yeah. Here's the deal, right? So the Big Show rips down and the. They didn't uh, follow up on that. The no, Big no. Show rips down yeah. the Russian flag, right? And and. They then come out the following day and they issue an apology yes. saying sorry for the Russian flag hitting the ground, this, that, and the other thing. With the apology that they put up on WWE.com, they put a video and a photo of the, yeah. of the Big Show ripping down the We're flag. sorry, but in case you missed we're, it, here we're, it is again. We're sorry, but by the way, check it out. <laughs> he let the flag hit the ground, then he ripped it down. Da -da. And we talked about it last week. That was the fakest apology, or the 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 most unapolog unapologetic apology yes. that we've ever seen. But they, right? but then, then, like you said before, they went to bed. They, they announced that because um, they had announced last week that this week there's two things: a Roman Reigns interview, right? B Big Show versus Rusev. That right. was the match announced a week in advance for last night's show. And then because of that angle, they said. Big Show has been ordered to do something, community or, or, or whatever. And we know why that is. training, and but then they said, and he, yeah, exactly. Um, but he's going to be forced. He's here tonight, but he's going to be forced to watch Rusev come out and do this or that or whatever the fuck. And respond it, to his apology from SmackDown. That's the thing they were promoting with Rusev all night. He will come out and address the controversy. Of so, the, so wait a minute. So they had announced Big Show against Rusev for Raw last week. Okay. On Raw last week. Next week on Raw, Big Show versus... Because I made the post. Remember I got yelled at for the title? Yeah. Confirmed that was, okay, match okay, and a okay, major return. Right, right. Yeah. So they had Rusev against the Big Show confirmed for this week's Raw. Yes. And then... I, I don't know. Maybe some late creative rewrites? Hey, listen. Wait a minute. You're telling me they changed the script before the show they after they wrote it? Or script? Did it have something to do with The Rock? We'll find out. Was The Rock involved? They changed the script. You know what? I'm a bad fucking producer. I was so they focused. They changed. I was the so script? focused on Jake Shields. I didn't even download the Rock's theme. You don't have it? No. I don't think. 
I'm almost positive I don't. All the, all the themes I downloaded were about WrestleMania time. No rock theme? No rock theme. Wow. I do not have it. Wow. I do not have it. <laughs> Fucking guy. At least he admitted he's a terrible producer. <laughs> I don't know when I became a right. producer anyway, but... We yeah. had, uh... <clears throat> since I told you we were going to be... No, <laughs> it's never been said. I just started... We had, uh... Dolph Ziggler and uh, the Uso brothers uh, defeated Cesaro and the and it's worth Dust mentioning. brothers. Ziggler had his IC title with him, or maybe a backup that they keep. But here's the deal: Go ahead. we put it up on the website yesterday. For those unaware, uh, well, tell the story WWE, before you tell the solution. All right. Well, WWE has backups of all titles, but yeah. the story is: the story is um, United that Airlines. United Airlines um, lost. I have a problem with this, by the way. Okay. United Airlines lost Dolph mm-hmm. Ziggler's. Uh, Baggage. Intercontinental luggage. title. He lost right? his luggage where he had the belt. He lost his luggage. But here's the deal. If you're a WWE title holder, they lost it in Canada and uh, the Earth. they lost it in the United States, but they eventually found it. I think he was flying from Canada back to the United States. I believe and it they had a Canada. shot in Canada this last week. It, well, I right. believe so. It, Toronto it, or something. Yeah. Uh, somewhere, right? I believe but, so. But they lost, the, they lost Dolph Ziggler's luggage and the IC title. Um, Same somewhere. Point. And they found it. Uh, they eventually found did it. They? And they're going to ship it back. Okay, right. I didn't know that. Uh, Ziggler sent out another tweet that said that they did find it and they do have my okay. luggage. I just need to get it back and they're going to ship it to me. Um, well, then, so, so, so it was so, a backup belt last night. Here's the deal. I, I believe so. Unless, well, how would they, get unless it back to they delivered quick? it to Raw yesterday, hours before. And normally, if, if they find your luggage, yeah. they lost my computer coming back from Colorado. Days. No, 24 hours. I got it within really? 24 hours. Delivered to your door? Delivered right to my door okay. by a FedEx. Okay. By a FedEx or a UPS. The only, I've, I've flown many times mm-hmm. from Florida to Vegas, from Florida to Cali, and then a million times from Florida. You ever had your luggage lost? Florida to New York, New York to Florida, Florida to New York, a bunch yeah. of times. Those are my flights that I've done in my life. Right. Only once. Every single flight except for one, all I had was a carry-on bag. I would put everything I need in a carry-on yeah. bag. Even when I was moving, like I, would everything, just, I would leave yep. everything I own back where I was coming from and just take clothes mm-hmm. and start a new life. That way you know you have it. It's and with me. That's where I'm going to go with this time. This time I flew from Florida, mm-hmm. uh, Tampa, Florida this time, not Jacksonville, Tampa to here, mm-hmm. where I live now. That flight... Had a lot of stuff coming from I, That was the first time I ever checked the bag. Mm-hmm. And right. I didn't know how that process went, waiting for the conveyor belt to bring yeah. your bag around. That was yeah, the first yeah, time yeah. I had to do that. Right. And it worked out fine. Okay. I even had... Right. I had a... Uh, no, a laptop. I had the laptop and a bunch of shit in my checked bag, not my carry-on bag. Right. So right I was right. nervous. And like you did when you, I remember you flew to Florida once. We went to that porn convention. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Down in Hollywood. Something right. else, like an event of some kind. Right. You had packed a desktop computer and mm-hmm. padded it with clothes. Mm-hmm. That's what I did with my laptop. I had a laptop bag, zip bag, and the Padded it with clothes, mm-hmm. hoping that they don't. Because you know they take your bag and just fucking oh, throw yeah, it sometimes. Oh, like yeah, you. Well, so I was like, right. shit, man. If they break this, this is my. And it's a piece well, of shit to start with, as you very well know. <laughs> so I'm like, man, they even think it a little bit. It's right. fucked. Right. Uh, I padded it. I learned it from you. I padded it with a bunch of letters. Like absolutely. And it, absolutely. It was fine. But. I but I've never my, lost a bag. No, I, I've had my luggage lost, and it within 24 hours it was shipped That's cool, by though, FedEx that they make up for. Like so, that. it's possible that you know, depending on when he lost his luggage and when they found it, could they have shipped it to Raw yesterday or of course. Uh, who, who knows? Yeah. But anyways, uh, WWE has backups of every title. We put it up on the website yesterday. Yeah. Every WWE title. If he was backup. coming from a fucking live tour in Antarctica to fucking Brooklyn, Maybe. that. Right. Distance would be like there's no way they could get it there in time. But Canada well, straight to New York, can, that's can, right above the border. I, I don't know how the airlines work, but you can do overnight delivery where it's still there within 24 hours. No depends what. on where you're right. in the country. Some flights are like 16 hour flights. Yeah, right. Gonna, and if he's a, flown in and there's only yeah. seven hours till the show, there's no way to get it from a 16 hour destination. Right. But they're in Canada to New York, well, which let's is say right that, here's, below Canada. Here's the problem I have with it: if you're a WWE superstar and you've got an IC title, a US title, a WWE title. I'm not checking that bag. That's in. carry on. That's carry but on. Can luggage. you take something like that? Well, listen, you can take it, but it's going to be a bitch to get through the initial security. I wonder how Seth does with the, the briefcase. Luggage. 
Well, he's got to take it through, and and every is time, that a carry on? Every time, well, well, what one or two items? Every time on? it goes through that conveyor belt, I guarantee they say we need to open this up, we need to check oh, inside course. this, and it's the same thing with the WWE title, where I'm sure it probably sets off an alarm and says, "Baby, it is metal," and they've got to go through and, and and check everything on the belt. So maybe maybe it's a hassle, and maybe Ziggler says, "I don't want that hassle. I'm Just trying to it. get the, yeah. I'm trying to get through the security line as fast as possible. Get on my flight and get out of here." I'll just check it in. Yeah. But from what we put up on the websites, a lot of the guys take the titles as their carry-on luggage, despite the fact that, yeah, they're going to have to go through it extra takes security. Minute, you know, it takes a couple of minutes They open extra, it, right? pull everything out. But the fact that Ziggler was checking the title in, in check luggage, I'm thinking that's not normal. <laughs> Most of the guys keep the title on them at all times because there are guys at airports that scan, and if they see a WWE title belt or jewelry, you hear about it all the time, about thefts at airports, yeah. about luggage being stolen, and it, it's never recovered. If there's a crooked guy working in the back oh, that's and checking the checked-in luggage, and he sees a WWE title, and he's a WWE fan by some chance, he's probably going to try to steal that title. Yeah, or anything that thinks worth money. Yeah. And you're screwed. There's a lot of crooked people. Don't think it's... It, it, hey, it's listen, let me put job. you this way. There are crooked people out there, especially this way. in the airport, that are trying to jack shit. I've mentioned how many times I've flown, maybe eight times in my life. Yeah. I'd say at least, at least four. You think I'm exaggerating? Couple I things swear missing? to God, Couple no. Couple things missing? Oh, I've always checked... All right. I always took my carry-on with me. Right, right. Once if I checked the bag. So nothing ever came out missing. But... They randomly, randomly select someone in line yep. Yep. to go through that air <laughs> thing. Yep, yep. I have been checked. I four out of about eight or nine. You're flights. a young guy, though. I, 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 my mom, back when I had a relationship with her and we would communicate and talk to her in years. Right. She says, "You, Matt, you look like an uh, an Arabic or a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Don't an Arab kind of. You don't look like an Arab." What I had the hair and the beard I did though. Yeah, yeah. You remember what I used to look like with I the did, big with the beard, long hair the long the dark, so the dark head. hair and a big fucking dark beard. I look like an Arab supposedly. Oh, I randomly select you. Four out of like eight or nine flights. How do you think the people? I mean, it's part of their culture, but the oh the, the people, Arabs and, that, that and fly? the Indians. Got to be brutal, check man. Every time, and not only that, but I guess he and everybody around him in their gates staring at him like, "Who's this guy? A Absolutely. fucking terrorist? Is he a fucking? It's, is he gonna kill us?" Listen, it's profiling. Listen, if you're in an airport, okay, uh, listen, it may be prejudice, but listen, is. any of us, I, if you, uh, you, me, anybody in the chat room, if you're in an airport and you're getting on an airplane and you see a guy that's on your flight. And he's wearing a turpin, and he's got the whole, you know, the what whole outfit. What did you outfit. say? A tur what? It's a turpin, right? Turpin? Turpin? What? Is, what turban. Is it? Turban? I believe it's a turban. Wait, what is a turban again? The hat T-U-R- thing? T-U-R, yeah, 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 on the top. Oh, of that head. is a turpin. You're right. I think right. it's a turpin. Turban? I think you're right. It's a turban. I don't know. Who fucking All right, cares? But, anyway, but, but anyways, anyways you. and they're dressed from head to toe. And I understand, listen, that's their culture, and they're not going to change it. Just because they're in an airport, that and they, listen, that's their culture. They they don't have to change it, and they're probably a really nice guy. Turban B, yeah. All right, but the fact is, is you're sitting there. Ah, they are on your hey, flight. You just said it as he typed it. But fact is, <laughs> but, I heard it. And saw right. it but the fact way. is, they are on your flight, and I'm not trying to sound racist, and this may come across as racist, but it happens to pretty much me? everybody. It happens to it happens to pretty much everybody. You're looking, so that guy's on my flight, and he's probably the nicest guy in the world. But you're thinking in the back of your head that uh, you, you know, know what? Because of the past, it absolutely. sounds racist. And, it, and it, but I'm not. Nine Eleven's when, when that all changed. Yeah, absolutely. From nine eleven on, absolutely. anytime you see an, an Indian-looking dude, a Hindu, an Arab, whatever the I fuck, I have no problems with any. You of know those who people. was just but on? You're you, thinking that they believe it. It's cool. Uh, Aziz Ansari. Do you know who that is? That fucking comedian. Aziz Ansari. Aziz Ansari. You don't watch TV or never heard of him. He's on Parks and Recreation. Uh, He's been in a bunch of movies. Anyway, he's an Indian comic. Right. Uh, He was on Howard Stern the other day, and he's saying exactly what you're saying. He's born and raised in America, but his parents were from India, and they actually had the arranged marriage, that whole thing, where Mm -hmm. the, the his mom and dad never met. The day they met, they got married. Yeah, it, an arranged marriage. You're marrying her. She's marrying you. Right, right, right. You know. Yeah. 
he gets born, but he's born and raised in North Carolina. I think it was. He says every time he goes on an airplane, they look at him. He can feel this. He people can feel are it. staring at him. Yep. Fucking the, not just the uh, the the other passengers in the flight, like the people that work at the airport or fucking hustling him. Everybody's him. looking and at him famous. because of the way he's dressed. And he's or famous, because but because he, he looks. looks like an Indian guy with yes. the brown, light yes. brown skin, he's being look. honest. He's, he's being, being honest. Profiled. When he says it. Yes. He's being blunt and he's being honest. Yes. Where it happens, whether you want to admit it or not, whether somebody's going to come out and say it we or way off topic. It. I know, I know, but it's just it's. The way it works, you yeah. know what I mean. But uh, anyway, Ziggler lost the title, and you said that was a backup. That was a back. I believe so. Unless uh, they were yeah, able, they deliver the title exactly. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so, but bottom line is, he had a belt when he came out. Bottom line was he had the IC. That belt was belt. part of the six man tag. Him and Usos against uh, Cesaro and the Dust Brothers. That was Goldust return. He was on vacation in Hawaii. Was uh, was backstage at Raw last week? Last week, week didn't appear. But they had already taped something with Stardust, which was going to air, so they couldn't. Ziggler and the Usos picked up the win here yes. in a uh, in a six man tag team. Pretty we short had, match. Uh, Wasn't nothing special. All right. Listen. All right. Go oh, ahead, boy. Man. Here we And these go. are your girls, bro. So uh, here you, we you, go. you you have fun. I don't even know. It's Howard Stern's this. biggest enemy, maybe all, right, all listen, time. Kathleen Gifford. Y'all y'all have heard me make. I come on here and I wake up in the morning time yeah. between seven and eight, sometimes eight thirty. I watch Good Morning America and the what Today I Show. I flip back and forth. I watch GMA. I watch Good Morning America. <laughs> all right. Yeah. And after that ends, Good Morning America and the Today Show is from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. At, at at 9 a.m., I turn over to I turn over to the Today Show. Okay, over, yeah. and we've got Willie Geis and and you know at 10 a.m. the Willie Today Geis, Show at 10 a.m. the Today Show continues, and we've got Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Coffee. Is that right? how you say it? Hoda Coffee. K O T B coffee. Coffee sounds like coffee. It looks like code. Hoda Hoda cod. Coffee, like corn on the cob. Hoda coffee. And you say coffee. It's not K O T B. Listen, I say coffee. It's Hoda coffee. K O T B is coffee. Yes. Wow. It's it's pronounced. I've never heard it said. You're right. I'm sure. It's pronounced. Believe me, if anyone would know. So I watch every morning. He's in there watching that shit. It used to be. Kathy Lee Gifford and Regis Philbin. Yeah, it was Regis and okay. Kathy Lee. Yeah. Regis and Kathy Lee. And Regis and Kelly. And I, watch Kelly and I watch them every morning. All right? Whatever. It's on television. And then I watch Access Hollywood following that. Isn't Anyways, ESPN on during the movie? Yes, but they talk about... They rerun the show current, all day, so you can put it on They talk about time. current topics and this, that, and the other thing. Yeah. And I'm kind of entertained. Pop culture. So whatever. whatever. Yeah. I'll take the heat for it. All right? So they've been hyping this... this and what's your favorite website? WZRonline.com. After that? After yeah, ones TMC. you work with, okay. there you go. Continue. TMC, absolutely. Very manly website. I got a good friend. Go Ryan. I got a good friend. Ryan That's true. Satin. You're friends with one of the guys. Ryan right. Satin. If you're it's a good excuse, my brother. Yeah. Uh, anyways, um, so listen. So they've been hyping up that they're going to appear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's uh, that's a nice. There, right? That's a nice big shirt you got wearing there <laughs> too. Nah, that's, that's for a good cause. All right, listen, man. So, uh, so they've been hyping this Raw appearance, right? Vince yes. McMahon sent out a tweet about it, WWE.com. And i got to ask you who Joan London is. Is she tied into these? Joan shows? London used Part to be... Of the show? She used to be the host of Good Morning America before... Say, the name sounds very familiar. Like, right, from the past, right. though. Before Robin Roberts came in and took over. Robin Roberts basically Never took heard over that name for in my Joan life. London. Okay, yeah. Joan London has cancer, and we'll get to that here in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, she had a cancer. touching speech on Raw. I and, thought it was yeah. awesome. You're in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, that crowd. They kudos. they let it major. Man. They major, let it go. Major. And they, they loved it. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, so we got a segment mm-hmm. on oh, Raw last Jesus night. Christ. All right. Adam Rose's music hits. <sighs> that and, I believe. And by the way, yeah. Yesterday, John Cena was on the Today Show in the morning, and they specifically asked John, yeah. "Are we going to get booed? Are they going to boo us out of the Did building they? tonight?" You watched it. And course. John yeah. said, "Well." If they boo you, it's a sign that they can. Yeah, if they, if they if they're quiet, that's bad. If then, they cheer or boo, at least they right, they know least, you and they're acknowledging exactly, you. One way or the other. That's exactly what he said. Yes. yes. Um, Who would know better than John Cena too about mixed reactions, cheers, boo. Absolutely. If they say something, absolutely. then you matter. Why do we have a quiet family? Is that the why? Wait a minute. That's a why. Look, it skips it. 
<laughs> no, no, look, 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 no, look, greatest producer in the world, no, look, folks. You click Adam Rose, they it skips down to the next song. Hold on. That shouldn't be happening. Go ahead. I clicked Adam Rose, it skipped. I just showed you. You didn't want it. I saw it. I know it. All right. All right, I'm so listen. Though. Hold on. Uh, well, fuck him anyway. Right, so, so, so Adam Rose and the Exotic Express, yes. right? They come to ringside, right? And they've got Hoda, and they've got Kathy Lee, and they're in robes, right? They've got the Ric Flair-type robes with suit Big and dramatic robes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, that, and the other thing. By the way... Uh, they announced today on the show, they got into a big talk about last night, appearing on Raw last night. They're going to auction those uh, those off to support Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Are they? I didn't uh, know that. So they are going to auction those off. Um, and they're going to be, you know, plugging it on uh, on Raw or on their show in the uh, in the coming weeks. So basically, and by the way, they said that the uh, the glass bottles that they hit each other with uh, last on the night ass or whatever were made out of sugar. I was going to say, it was clearly a fake fucking... They were made out of sugar. Is that how, how they do it? How do you do I that? I don't know. If they freeze said it, today, I have no idea. They said today that they were made out of sugar. I haven't used Kathy that Lee, in so long. I don't know where it was. Kathy Lee, they Fuck said it. that they wanted to take the bottle and hit Kathy Lee over the head. Yes. Kathy Lee didn't want to do it because she had neck issues. And then the other problem was Kathy Lee, if you go back and watch the video... She was talking about her neck issues today, and when they did the backdrop off the ring apron, where Hoda went right in, Hoda did it, uh, and Kathy Lee was the, kind of on the ring crowd apron. surfing. Thing? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Kathy Lee. Well, Kathy it. Hoda did it immediately. Hoda did Kathy it immediately. hesitated. And then if you go back and yes. watch the video today, and it makes sense after watching their show today, Kathy Lee said that she had neck issues and she didn't want to fall back. So if you watch the video on YouTube.com that we put up on the websites today, when Kathy Lee falls back, they don't touch her neck, and they're right there. Before she even falls back, they've got their hands on her back. And you can notice it in the video today. I specifically went back. Are you still looking for the <laughs> you just keep on, roasting? Please? This is like five minutes later. I'm, am I not participating in the conversation? Out? Yes, absolutely. All we're right. Just, we're, no. almost, we're moving on. Dean Ambrose. No, 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 no. no. Tony keep talking about the <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they already had it with Kathy Lee. The, the hands were right on her back. She was so nervous about uh, about taking that spot. It was in the Wyatt family. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let me save this playlist. Oh, shit. <laughs> I remember in the past I've done that before, too. And if that one, if you change, the, if the file's in this folder, and you change folders, but it's already saved in your Winamp playlist, because it, it's saved from a different file. Whoa, 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 whoa. When you go to play it, it'll try and hit that old folder it was I in, know. so it, it skips to the next it one. It skips. And I forgot right. to save the new one. <laughs> You're right. You're yeah. right. I'm right. right. always so anyway. right, you son of a bitch. That was a train wreck. It was bad. But they kept it relatively short. It was I mean, short. at first yeah. I was scared, because they had like a table set up for them, and they each had, because they're known for like drinking wine in the morning, or I think, right? Every day. They drink like it's, water uh, or what whatever. Is it? What, what is it? it? Rosé or? It's Wednesday, Wines Day. It's Booze Day, Tuesday. Oh my god. Boo Today was Booze Day, Tuesday. What time does the show start? Tomorrow's uh, wine Wines Day, Wednesdays. What time does the show start every morning? 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. 10 a.m. And, and they're from New York or Los Angeles? New York City. So it's Eastern Time. Eastern Time. So 10 a.m. They're drinking alcohol. They have, it was like Raw last night, where they have a cup of wine. Yeah. Shut out of I'm going to fade it if you do. Uh, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. So, they have, a, oh, do you? I think so. Oh, all right. Unless, fade the fucking music. Unless it's in a different fade folder, the then I don't know what I'm doing. They have, a, they have a glass of wine, but they never drink it. You know, that I thought couple, they do. A couple of sips. But all I know end, is like the jokes the show, that are made about them, you know. Right, from and Fallon and everybody Family Guy else. started, right, right, right. the joke is, these two old bitches are wrong, wrong. and they right. babble and talk over each other, and <laughs> like the view, but or with two people. When they, when they open the show, you'll notice it, and this is like a production thing where you're watching, tell it, like, you and I are always watching Raw for errors and mistakes and things like that. I'm they open the show, they open right. the show, and they've got wine there, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then later in the show, the wine 
disappears. It's no longer there, and you're like, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what happened to the wine? Yeah, so I, I think it's like a again. gig. It's like a gig where at the beginning of the show, yes, a gig, yeah, a gig, a gig job or something. But okay. no, that, I, the whole point of bringing it up was I had seen the table set up. They each had their wine, right? And Adam Rose brings them out, like you said. They come out as part of the Exotic Express and the Rose Buzz. I always confuse which is which. The Exotic right. Express, the Rose Buzz. Anyways, they all come the party. The Exotic Express is the bus, and the Rose okay. Buzz. Is the, Rosebuds is come the group. Off. They come off the bus. They're the exactly. group that follows them all the time right. with the bunny. And yes. Okay. So, they all come to the ring with Kathy, Kathy Lee and Hoda Coffee. 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 K O T B. Coffee. All right. Um, you, I'm not arguing either because you watch that show every day, so I'm it's like sure you know how to say it. Hoda Copy. 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 Like copy. I heard an no, F. No, yes, there's a T in there. Hold up. Yeah, K O T B. It sounds like coffee. So cot B. Cot B, but you say it all together. Hold a copy. Hold a copy. Yes. Hold a copy. Hold a copy. Hold the copy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a funny joke. Hold the copy. Hold a copy. Hold the copy. Hold the copy. Like the copy of the paper. Hold the copy. Hold a copy. Motherfucker. But anyways, they all come out together, they got the wine, they got the table, and then yeah. after Adam Rose introduced them, he kind of fades in the background, and they're left alone, and I'm like, yeah. oh, fuck me, it man. It was bad. And they're all doing the, do you want to see her do her crazy dance? They were doing do the you wanna... box right here in Brooklyn, New York. And and then Kathy Lee says, my mother was born here in Brooklyn. Yeah. Okay. And then they start mentioning the uh, New Jersey and, and Bronx. Or no, that was The Rock. He that did was, all the five that boroughs. Was Rock did the Yeah, boroughs, he hit right. all the boroughs. Uh, but no, I was just really nervous because they were left Listen. alone. They started babbling, but then quickly, you want to see the crazy dance? That's, she does her crazy that's dance. Off, and they, they do, do the, the dives, and then, thankfully they get them the fuck out of there, and we move on with the show. When you're uh, and when we're you're moving drinking, on with our show now. when you're drinking wine or right? beer or beer, whatever, yeah. right? I mean, a drink always goes good with a little bit of food, right? Eat a little bit of food, drink a little bit of beer, you just whatever. Had a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger, a hamburger. Hamburger. What's yeah. the opposite of a hamburger? If you're grilling in the summertime, you're cooking hamburgers, and you're cooking hot dogs. Hot dogs. Yeah. You're cooking hot dogs. So Dean Ambrose decides. Is that now? Oh yeah. Dean Ambrose. Coney Island. <laughs> like that transition? I, I, I was sold. I thought you know where I was going. I thought hamburgers, cheese. What's the opposite of a hamburger? Cheeseburger. And then you said if you're grilling and it's if not a hamburger, it's a hamburger. That's where I got hot well, dogs. we're going to hot dogs. Yes. We're gonna grill we some hot. We last week too. We're gonna grill some hot. The inside thing. Yeah. I that said, and you said you didn't even notice it until I brought it up. Yeah. But they brought it up again this week. So Dean Ambrose. No coincidence. Three weeks in a row. Dean Ambrose uh, comes out of the ring and he's upset with the opening segment yeah. from earlier tonight, right? And he says the he doesn't feel right about. John Cena once again invading his space. Yeah. Similar to what he said last week is listen John, don't get in my way or I'm not getting the fuck out. Yes. Right? Stay out of my way. It, it, he okay. introduces the highlights of I think last week. Let me week's reintroduce role. myself. Yeah. We'll get to that. The later. Rock did that. Yeah. We'll get to that later. My name is Ho yeah. H to the O V. Yeah, but, uh, but all right. Big so, J C Mark right here. Huge. Uh, but all right, so they and, and he's part of that Barclays Center. Uh, the Nets owner. going to Brooklyn. Yeah. Right. Um, so they they show highlights. I'm not sure if they showed Raw too, but I know they showed SmackDown because I didn't watch SmackDown. I didn't. Either. Uh, where I guess Cena and Ambrose were in a tag match, and it wasn't against Rollins. So let's just say it was Kane Orton. I don't know if it was. While they're in the tag match, Rollins comes down the ramp, and he's standing in the aisle. Cena sees him. Starts after him, leaving Ambrose by himself, and then he gets fucked up two double team by Kane and Orton right. because he's alone. So basically, Ambrose is basically saying in this promo on Raw, Cena left me fucking hanging, you know, and I, I told right. him not to give me a reason not to like him or whatever the fuck. I'm not All sure right. if those tied in, but he's that's what they off. show, and then they come back, and go ahead. Can I just say, I just noticed this now, but we should be paid. By Milwaukee's best. You would think, man. I mean, this is like I always hold my beer like this, right? I don't. I, I try and keep mine off camera. Yeah, you keep it off camera, yeah. but I hold it right up here. This is like the perfect product placement, is what they call it on on television. Yeah. When a name like, brand, if you're trying to promote yes. something, you kind of hold it like this as you're talking. You're like, yeah, well, I'm about this. 
It's like product. You should pay us for this, man. We're promoting them every week. But you anyways. would think, but anyways, this leads yes. to to John Cena coming oh down God. to the ring. I was trying to read what you were talking. Right. <laughs> uh, and anyways, long story short, we had mentioned that they had had problems the last few weeks. Cena left Ambrose high and dry on SmackDown, which right. they show the highlights of. Right. And they come back, Ambrose talks about this more. Cena comes down, and, and basically they say they need to hammer out their differences before they have to tag again, like on SmackDown, where Ambrose was left alone. They have to tag again the night in the Raw main event and the right. handicap match three on two that we announced earlier. So let's get rid of our differences, this and that. Cena goes on this big, long rant, and then when he's done, Ambrose, Ambrose says, says, You know what? I'm kind of hungry. I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, he gets on the way, he says, you know what? I'm kind of hungry. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> Throws the mic on him and walks away. He hits him in the chest with the mic, walks away. No, didn't he say he was going to head down to the train station? Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. hungry. I think I'm going to go down to Coney Island and get me a, uh, a hot dog. I'm going to jump on the Avenue A train yeah, whatever or something it is, like yeah. that and go down to Coney Island. But Coney Island's great. famous for their hot dogs. Give me dogs. a hot dog and then here... Throws the mic at him. Yeah, right. but Coney Island's famous for their hot dogs, which is this you know, big hot dog reference. Do you know why? No, I don't. You don't know why I'm Coney I'm not from I- New York, man. All right. Coney Island, yeah. every year, July 4th, the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest is held live from Coney Island on ESPN every July 4th. To prove I'm a big Howard Stern fan, Howard Stern says that every year his parents, Ray and Ben Stern, yes, I know his parents' name. Because right. he does the imitations of them. I know his funny. wife's name, Beth. Beth Ostrowski. That's oh, she's very Beth hot. Beth. She's a very pretty. She's a very pretty. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he says his parents have a ritual every year. His mom buys him two Nathan's hot dogs. Nathan's hot dogs. I guess they're big or best something. hot dogs ever, bro. Supposedly, yeah. Uh, so New York's You've never the, had a Nathan's. So New York's got the best pizza and hot dogs. Have you ever had a Nathan's? No. Oh my god. Anyway, have you? Yes, right. absolutely. But anyways, he makes oh. the Coney Island reference. He's going to get on the blah, 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 yeah. bus, train, whatever the fuck. Go to the there and get the hot dog because he's kind of hungry. So, wait a minute. Basically telling Cena, you're on your own tonight, three on one. Kane, How- Orton, and Rollins against you. Howard, Howard's mother gets some two hot dogs. No, Howard's know. mother gets Howard's father, their husband and wife. Oh. She buys his father. Her, yeah. Two hot dogs. That, yeah. For every fourth of July. They have a ritual. They go right. to the Nathan's hot dog. It's a stand or something, I think. Right. And she, he, he, and Stern says he always gets two hot dogs. Two hot dogs. And that's the ritual. Two hot dogs, Nathan's hot every dogs. Every fourth of July. No, every birthday. Oh, birthday. Every birthday. All right. All right. No doubt. So anyways, Dean Ambrose is but basically yeah, out He leaves He's Cena going. alone and basically acknowledges when he says, I'm hungry, I'm going to go to this train, I'm going to get a hot dog, I'm hungry. You're on your own tonight, kind of the way you that's left it. me high and dry last on SmackDown. I'm yep. leaving you high and dry. Good luck against tonight. three guys in one match tonight. And that was that. We so go to commercial, we come back And they backstage. had hyped that up all night long that from this point forward. Well, right, this wasn't three, three this three deep into the show, by the way. And we skipped the Bo Dallas-Mark Henry match, by the way. Oh, we did. Not even see yeah, it. Bo Dallas beat Henry via countout. Henry came out. Uh, Bo Dallas has beaten him twice in a row. Two out of, their, out of their two matches, he's won both. Both by fluke wins. This week, Henry comes out. He's beating the shit out of Dallas. He throws him out of the ring. They're out of the ring. Henry starts clearing off the announce table. He picks him up for the world's strongest slam. Count oh, shit. It. Dallas flies over the back yep. of his head and hits the ring. Nine. Ten. You're count out. out. Henry's counted count out. out. And so we got so a that, point. So that was that. And then we go to this segment. And, yeah, backstage after this segment, we go to commercial, I think. We come back from commercial. Right. Triple H sees Cena backstage. And tells him Triple H was good here, man. He was very funny. I don't was, remember. All I remember is the the storyline point. If you want to tell the jokes and stuff. Oh, well, I mean, he basically said the storyline point was that I will make sure you get your hands on Rollins because in your match he's tonight, going in number one, he's starting the match with you. Right. right. And I had told you exactly what remember, was happening. With that. I don't remember exactly what happened with Triple H and, and what he said, but it came across as he was basically there was jokes. I do a remember huge, a huge ego. Like, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't, doesn't have it, I don't remember what he said. But anyways, this is where, now, Damn. you and I got talking here, and listen, you didn't confirm this. No, I'm gonna I, make that clear. I made I'm gonna it clear make that, that I clear, don't man. predict it. I'm going to make that clear. You pretty much said it's probably not going to happen, but... I said it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I even went on Facebook, and I said, I do not that. think this is going to happen, I'll but that. I was casually talking to Ryan off mic, and then off mic, you turn the mic on and say, say that again, Boone. I said to you, 
you brought up a really good point that I took and I ran with it and I jacked it from you. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, Boone had said maybe, you know, it's three on one. It's Orton, Kane, and Rollins oh. against John Cena. Somebody's got to come out and make the save for John Cena. So you had said, you know, it's already been, what, two or three weeks since Reigns has been out? He was out. The night before Night of Champions is when he got the surgery. All right, so he's been out for two or three weeks, two weeks right? I believe. They're yeah. saying, I know WWE says he's going to be out several months. That's WWE's yeah. way. We had the heard average, the diagnosis of, okay, go ahead. The average recovery time is about six weeks. Six weeks. Four to six weeks. No, not four we'll to six say, weeks. We'll say six, six weeks. weeks is the okay, yeah. so I'm thinking, okay, he's already been out for two to three weeks, okay? Let's say that he comes out tonight and he hits a Superman punch. Has nothing to do with a hernia. He doesn't take a bump. No he bumps. Doesn't, nobody touches him. Doesn't go to the it's ground. It's a fake punch. Like, watch. You ready? I'm going to hit you with a Superman punch. Right. Boom. It's a Superman punch. And that, that hurt pretty you? fucking good. Did that hurt me? I didn't me? feel that at all. Nobody felt anything. But it's a Superman And it made a nice punch. sound and everything. And Reigns comes out <coughs> and it's a huge pop. That's three or four weeks in. Yes. Reigns comes back next week on Raw. It doesn't have to do anything physical. Maybe it's the promo. It doesn't addresses, jeopardize his health. Addresses... Yeah. You're about five weeks in there. One more week, he doesn't have to wrestle. You're six weeks in, right yeah, there. Now he can Reigns should be able to if his recovery return, goes as if the return goes as scheduled. Yeah. So I'm thinking, you know what? There's a possibility that Reigns may come out tonight. Just do a, a Superman yeah. punch. Plus, we knew he it. was in New York because he was at Ringside Fest, right, uh, in New York City on on. Saturday or Sunday night? Sunday night? Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. So they did live via satellite, but we knew he was in the area, so he probably shot that backstage at the show. I don't know if that's been confirmed, but I would assume... Unless they are... Unless they think Reigns is going to be out longer than six weeks, which is possible, they could have done that last night and and, and had him come out just do a Superman punch. If you're hitting a Superman punch... Has nothing to do with. You could do the same thing the Rock did with Rusev. You know what I mean? Same thing the Rock did with Rusev. He punched him, punched him, threw him out of the ring, and didn't jeopardize anything because he didn't. He's got a movie or whatever. He didn't didn't risk anything. You know? But they didn't wind up doing it. I started telling this all the I thought I fucking got convinced it was true, and and I I did. I I did. I was somewhat with you. Everything we just talked about is that not. That's exactly awesome. what I said. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what I said. Right. But I also told you, I said, let me make it clear, I'm not predicting this because the storyline is not six weeks. That's the legitimate recovery time right. for that incarcerated hernia surgery, whatever the fuck, right. that we had studied up on. All right, so Wikipedia, whatever the fuck, says six weeks um, because it's a matter of the healing. You can't do any rehab. It's just letting shit heal. So... WWE, however, in their update, their breaking update on the network and all their articles on WWE.com, all that shit they say, and even on TV last week, Michael Cole and everything, several months. But you know how so, WWE is when they say things like that. Yeah, but I, I, several months if they take then. something that could be six weeks and go out of their way to say several months, not it could be this to this, yeah, this many right. weeks to this, yeah. if they go out of their way to say something that traditionally should take six weeks, right? And that's not for a superb athlete like Roman Reigns, where you would think it might even be a little less. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but like I said, there is no rehab, so it's just literally letting your body heal. So I guess it doesn't matter how good an athlete or not you are, but six weeks is the recovery time. You ever had a run? They go out of their way. No. They go out of the way to say several months, which is a whole lot different than six weeks. Mm -hmm. Several months is at least three months. That's more than two. You'd say a couple months. Two to three months. Two months would be a couple months. Several is three or more. That's 90 days, is what you're saying. Minimum. Six weeks is what? Six well, times twelve plus weeks, man. Six times seven is what? It's four weeks in a month, so you're looking at three months. That's twelve weeks. No, that's six weeks, though. What's six weeks? Six weeks is two months. No, no, eight it's, weeks. It's is a two month months. and a and like a month and a. Half. It's like yeah, six weeks is a month and a half. So it's like forty-five, fifty days or something. Yeah. All right, and then the several months is at least three months, which is ninety days, thirty days in a month times three. Twelve weeks. Yeah, double the time. So if they're gonna double his recovery as far as what they say on television, right? Probably is part of an angle. Like, no, we need to make sure he's gone this much time. Whatever the fuck. Maybe he's gonna be. Otherwise, why wouldn't they say it could be six weeks? It could be a month or two. I thought it was gonna be well, and not only that. I think they were just covering bases. Like maybe it takes a little longer. Let's cover it. Let's talk about this too. Reigns cut that promo. Okay. (laughs) Michael Cole. Michael Cole yeah. comes in. He answered two questions. He answers two questions. But one of the things that he said is, "True, I'm going to be back 
sooner than, than, than you think. think. And that was okay. one of the other things. So that was said, one yeah. of the other things that went through my head. He said, are you kidding me? It's Daisy. It's Daisy. What are they doing back it's here? It's Daisy's tail. Well, Daisy jumps over the gate. Not for no reason. She jumps over the gate. Anyways, um, <laughs> but uh, so, so, <laughs> so, so, you know, Roman Reigns says, I'm going to be back really sooner good. than you think. So I'm thinking, all right, with your suggestion, yes. Okay. With my your, suggestion of with yeah. your suggestion everything I said off mic that you could say on mic. Who could be yeah. John Cena's tag team partner? No, not the tag team partner. partner. The guy running in to make the save. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Whoever. Because that would be him working a match. Yeah, not doing not, that. He's not going to work a match. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you had said that who's going to run in and make the save, and you made it a point. I I said it over yes. and over. You didn't confirm anything. Uh, I went on Facebook as soon as we're done because I said he right. just made me. I was telling. We were talking off air. No microphone. Nothing. Just as Whatever, friends. Everything you said. And I had gave this big case on how it, you know it might be yeah. rain. Hey, hey. But in my mind, I'm like. No, because they can't because of this. But you, you know what? Maybe just basically in case they did it, I wanted to be able to tell Ryan. Told you, but I knew no. they weren't. So I also didn't want to go on say, the air and say, say it, which he made me do. So I immediately came in here, went on Facebook, and said, "Hey, for the record, I do not think this is happening tonight." They say Rollins sold out. Rollins says no. I bought in. Boone sh- suggested something to me last night. Yes. I bought it. He bought it. I bought it. And when you can get and his I brain working on something, he runs with it. Oh, don't get and it. And it made stuck. perfect sense. There was something you were going on about last night, and I said, "Oh, the boon logic. Oh, there's that boon oh, logic." No, no, no. It was, I, a, it was like a, I remember okay. it was a joke too, because it was like clearly obvious that it was right, and you're like, "Oh," because you were even joking about it. Oh, there goes that boon logic. I was like, "Motherfucker, you know it's true." Oh, there goes that boon logic. I said, unlike the Ryan logic. You know, logic, logic out of here. We're going to commercial break. You are listening to WZR TV Tuesday. Where are we going to come back on the flip side? Uh, We are. We got. We got to do rapid fire and calls. Yes, we are. We're almost. We got to talk about Jr.'s commentary debut, and we got to talk about the Triple H taking over for Vince. Well, we left off at the uh, at the uh, yeah, no doubt the plans. We left off at the uh, at the Roman Reigns interview, which was very very short. We're coming back. We had El Torito beat uh, the Mini Gator. My God, God. the crowd shit all over. What was it? The Bunny was part of that too. It was like three different animals. The Bunny was in there. We're gonna do a triple threat match between no. Those three, and then when we come back on the flip side, yes, uh, we had Lena and Rusev. Yes, we the did. Ring. They're cutting a promo, and what happened next? What happened next, Boone? I don't remember. You're gonna have to remind me after we, we don't come have back his, from the break. We don't have his, uh, no, his but I'm playing music. the one that we made a joke about earlier. Do, 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 we don't have his theme music. You are listening. WCR TV <laughs> My live audio wrestling on with this awesome producer right here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I did a good interview. I'm Ryan McClark. Hey, six That's beers ago I killed you. This is about all you Rapid Fire. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WCR. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WCR. Get your rapid fire questions in. Keep them brief for the love of God, please. We don't have a lot of time. One left. line! One line! One line! If you don't do one line, we're not taking We're skipping them. Acer. Do you hear me? You Acer. Acer. One line. One line. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WCR. Get him in. We're also taking your phone call. 518-712-3070. We'll be back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right after this. Hey! Yo, do you see Jimmy Fallon and uh, Will I Am? He's got a segment that he does, you know, uh, I don't know, every once a month or once On every the month. And he says, uh, what's the word that he says? He says, um... Oh, it's not gonna come to me. Somebody in the chat room, Jimmy Fallon, he did it with uh, Will I Am. He's like, oh, er, er, ew. Oh, oh, he did it with Will he Ferrell goes, once. Oh, ew. ew. He did it with Will well, Ferrell made, and Michelle Michelle Obama. They, they <laughs> yes, ew, ew, ew. Gross. ew. <laughs> and they dress up as girls and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they with, made like, a, fucked up teeth. And they, shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made a, a, a music video. It's uh, Jimmy Fallon and Will I Am. It came out today, and it's like, ew, oh my god, she dresses like a slut, ew. Yo, it is Ooh. the fucking, it is hilarious. There's a nightly news guy, Brian Williams. Brian Williams, and they do the rap. 
They do the rap, and he's amazing. Gin and juice. He's amazing. Gin, Gin and, and juice. juice. They've done multiple. Oh my god! He said every word. Wait like, a minute. Even like fucking oh, like 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 hoes and bitches. And yes. Shit. Yes. And they have, one. they have him come in. If you go to YouTube, yeah, I don't there's a chance. I don't, wanna, don't risk yeah. fucking it up because okay. we, we got an archive that You're we right. need to get. Yeah. But one of these weeks, we'll play it where Brian Williams is up there. They take and Jimmy Fallon. Go ahead. Word by word, they clip. Like Stern's done it with audio books in the past, where they take word by word and they chop up each word of a book, and it then they put sentences out together. So perfect. And it'll sound like uh, when I was thirteen, I fingered my hardcore pussy. And, uh, you know, but they're taking words that their voices actually saying, and it it's sounds exactly perfect. Like rolling down the street. Smoking in dough, sipping on gin and juice, and they lay they, back. They piece it together. How the fuck did they get like certain words? Know. Like they haven't had nigga in there, and they had weed and and bitches and and even like hoes. Where did he ever say the word hoes? I think they take it out of a word. That oh, exists. this word. This person had a garden hose on last night. A garden hose. Yes, exactly. Like it's exactly. crazy. Do I you know, know how much how time has to go into that absolutely. though. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they've got, to, they've got to take certain words, and I don't know how they do it. Brilliant. I, mean, I really don't. Stolen yes. bit, by the way. Stern's done that for years. With, Has he? With, you know how you have a book, and then you have an audio book where they read their book? You know what we didn't talk about? Listen. No. What? Roger Goodell is holding oh, a fucking yeah. press conference. I thought that we did talk okay? about that last week. We no? didn't. Okay. Roger Goodell is holding a press conference about two weeks ago, right, about the domestic violence. We got 45 minutes abuse. to get to a lot I know, of I know. shit. Ray right. Rice, right? He's talking about Ray Rice, right? The elevator. And out of nowhere, yeah. out of nowhere, somebody comes into the press conference screaming, No! Please don't put me in the elevator! Please! I don't want to go in the elevator! Yeah. It's fucking Benji from Benji the Howard Bronx. Stern. From the Howard Stern show, yeah. Yo. Uh, he was also the one that interrupted the Anthony Weiner press yes, conference. Yes, he does it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do they let him in? How does he get he in? He gets a media credential through Sirius. Doesn't say he's from the Howard Stern show. He's just a Sirius XM. That's who you get your media credential. You get your media credential. You've got to recognize his face. You get your media credential. Well, yeah, once he's there. But Maybe he puts a hat on. The media himself. credential, you, do, you don't get that in person. Right. You right. get it through fucking email or telephone. Hey, can uh, this Sirius XM representative, right, right, can right. this Fox News representative, can this CNN represent, you know, and then once right. you're there, too fucking late, it's live. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah, we're into it. All right, here we go. We uh, Real we quick, last plug, rapid fire. fire. Yes. Do you have Facebook up? I, I put it up for you. Yes. So you should. It's still up. Okay. Facebook.com slash stop moving your hand. Sorry. What did we do? <laughs> Facebook.com slash. My eyes are hurting. One, two. Ryan Clark WZR. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Get your questions and comments in. As Mr. Clark said before we went to the break, our third, our second break of the evening, this is our third segment of the show. If it's over one line, we ain't fucking reading it. Acer. Hey, Don't listen. Mr. Uh, Nugent, Acer. Hey, I'm looking at Christopher this Brown. Time. He's another repeat offender. What's going on here? I don't know. What is this? I don't know. Maybe they thought if they didn't put a comma or a period, hey, it's one sentence. Ew. Ew. Uh. Ew. Anyways, Facebook.com. Ew. Facebook.com slash RyanClarkWZR. Get your last shits in now because we ain't got much time left. Uh, we'll be taking your calls. 518-712-3070. Hello? Am I on the air? Hello? So, uh, Am I on the air? We we'll left be talking off. to you guys an hour or two after we finish up roll. Oh. Were you saying something? Yes. So. Not anymore. We left off on uh, uh, were Monday. You saying we Yes, I was. What were you saying? I was saying we left off oh, yeah, we did. with Monday Night Raw and this man's theme music hit. I don't have it, you Prick, why would you set that up like that? What? You know I don't have it. You, you, you ain't got what? No, the Rock's theme song. The Rock? Yeah, that's the guy that you came back. You don't have back. his theme song? Hit the smell! With the Rock! It's cooking. The Rock says... Oh, they dropped that ad lib in the background. The Rock says... Remember when his old theme song? The Rock says... The Rock says, tick it down. The Rock says, The Rock says, The Rock says, tick it down. Ta down, ta down. Anyways, that guy came out. Hey, wake up. We got a show to do. Hey, I owed you one of those and I didn't get you, so fuck you or even. Anyways. 
So uh, actually, the uh, the rocks theme didn't hit. It no. was uh, Rusev and Lynch. So you falsely advertised. Rusev and Lynch. Well, I just made you look like a I fool. don't have Rusev. Theme. <laughs> I made you look like a fool singing uh, the rocks theme. So. I tried to help. But anyways, out. Yeah. Rusev and uh, Lena. Yes, uh, as we mentioned earlier, Big Show Rusev uh, versus Rusev was scheduled for tonight. Promoted all week. Yeah. Promoted all week, and um, you got a lighter. Oh, Why are you bitching about your cigarette going out? I didn't. I said, you said, ah, oh, damn, my cigarette went out. Right, but I didn't say anything about a lighter. I got a lighter. Why, bitch? You can just relight it. Oh, I can, but I'm telling the people. Why are we wasting time on this bullshit? Talk can about you tell it. we started drinking a little before the show tonight at fucking 6 o'clock when, when we tell started? This guy, this guy's singing half of the Rocks theme song for you on here. I'm trying to make up for my mistake of not downloading his theme song. Ruh, 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 ruh. Remix? Yeah. Ruh, 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 ruh. I had to write goddamn questions for an interview and get ready and make sure we even had the interview because it wasn't confirmed until an hour before the show. Uh, what were you doing? You could have downloaded the Rock Steam song. I was working. Yeah, so was I. Motherfucker. Rusev Marina. They come to ringside. They come to ringside. Originally, it was supposed to be Rusev Big Show, one-on-one, tonight, on Raw. They decided, no, Big Show destroyed the Russian flag last week, so he's going to go through anger management or sensitivity training, whatever the angle WWE was. management decided that he was going to yeah, go Yeah, well, I'm just explaining yes. the storyline explanation but, that they right. gave. I don't know if it was sensitivity training. Well, they were, hyping, they were hyping throughout the show, the big show. They had, like you said earlier. He was going to have to listen to Rusev. Right, throughout the night. Yeah. They were advertising that. So, so uh, that was the segment. And then we finally get to it. Rusev and Lena come out. Lena looking fucking smoking hot, which she we'll get hot. to later. She she hot. Yeah. The the rock gets, gets too full right, right, right. Yeah. Um, but anyways, they come out. Lane is doing her same fucking promo we've heard a million times, just modified to say Big Show instead well, of Jack Swagger and, and, or and instead of Big Show came out or uh, uh, Rusev was out there and basically said, "Big Show, get out of here!" Yeah, right, right. Lana, get out of here. I was getting that. Lana did her. She started. You get to it. Lana, I was trying to. Lana was doing her normal bullshit. All right. Replacing the name uh, Mark Henry or. Uh, yeah, Mark Henry with Big Show. Or right. Jack Swagger with Big Show. Same shit we've heard her say a million Previous times. Previous feuds, right. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I even wrote in my play-by-play. Shut dash T-U-P. <laughs> and then in parentheses I wrote, not a typo. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Shut dash T-U-P. Yeah. I like that. Shut like up! It. Top. Anyway, she was Top. doing that, that stuff. <laughs> and Vladimir Putin. And, and right, doing right. her whole shtick. Right. And then tell him Rusev, you know, and then Rusev, hey, Big Show, fucking... That's, uh, that's the rest, most we've whatever. heard Rusev yeah. talk in, in he did quite right. some time. He, he pretty I mean, he was basic, but right, you know, right. He, he did his thing. And then uh, He as, basically calls out the Big Show. He says, Big Show, you get out of here right now. This day, Even though you're suspended, you come out here right and now. And then they wait, and Big Show doesn't come out, and, and instead click... Hit this smile. No, and then... Again. And then? No, I'm not doing it again, motherfucker. This man's music hits. So The Rock comes to ringside. Yeah. And then what? I'm going to hit me. Anyway, The Rock comes to The Rock. How's that sound again? Rocks. All right, go ahead. Now you've done it, so we're both douchebags. Anyways, what what happens when no, the Rock I'm, comes I'm out? I'm humming along. You were yeah. full. I was trying to really perform. So the Rock comes out. <laughs> the Rock comes out. He comes out. I gotta, I gotta tell you, bro. Real long, Listen. dragged out entrance. We see the Milk Rock. In the crowd. Last time we've seen the Rock is WrestleMania, WrestleMania 30, right? Um, I gotta tell you, man. I, you're in front of seventeen thousand. 790 people. You should explain... I'm sorry, Roger. You should explain that for you, a very there was only a few people that weren't shocked. Now, we expected them, me and you were two of them, that weren't shocked, shocked. I mean, we were surprised that he was on Raw, but we had just written a thing together. We both worked on it together where we wrote something about how there's a good chance that fucker's going to be on SmackDown this Tuesday, be, Tuesday night tapings on Friday air. Right. Because, and then you could tell them, if you need well, me to, I remember. Ba- basically, what happened is we knew. Uh, we found out earlier in the afternoon yesterday that The Rock was in New York City. Yeah. Um, we to meet put with it up Time on, Warner people. Right. Well, we put it up on the website that The Rock was in New York City. At that point, we didn't know why The Rock was in New York City. Uh, an hour or two later, The Rock put up a tweet and yeah. said that, like you said, he was in New York City to meet with Time Warner executives. Exactly. Now, with that being said, we know The Rock 
He's Fine. in New York. Uh, give it a second. We'll take uh, live phone calls here just in, a uh, in just yeah. a few minutes, guys. Um, and that's probably what's her name because we're talking about Rusev. Yeah, 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 but um, just give us a couple seconds to run down this. And Jackie, we'll uh, answer in a minute. Baby. We'll take uh, yeah, we'll take uh, your live phone that's calls. Good. But uh, so you know, Rock basically says I'm here in New York City for Time Warner. Blah blah blah. On blah. Twitter. So I came to you and I said I found out why the Rock's in New York City. He's here to meet with Time Warner. Sure. Sure. But. With that being said, we know Rock's in New York City. They're in Brooklyn tonight, yes. WWE. It's right down the road. Would The Rock make the short distance, the travel over then, to Monday Night Raw? I'll take Rock. it from here. And then, then I you had said, said, because I told it's you, Smackdown It's week. the Smackdown 15th anniversary on the network because of the anniversary. This Friday is the 15th anniversary. They're celebrating it. Taping tonight. And we're going to give you uh, some... Do you want to do spoilers? We'll after do it after this okay. segment. Okay. Yeah, we're so into the ruck down right. here. Uh, right. But yeah, this Friday is their celebration of the 15th anniversary. Right. Uh, I don't think it ever aired on Friday until you know, the last few years. So right. it, it can't be the exact day, but they're celebrating it this Friday. They're celebrating Smackdown. Well, all week on the network, they're celebrating Smackdown week. But Smackdown, S- Smackdown, Smackdown week. 15 is this Friday. Long story short, all week Smackdown week. The guy who came up with the phrase "Smackdown" and it actually became part of the popular lexicon, like it became part of the the, the, the English language. It's who, in the dictionary. Who was the guy that came up with? And now, Smackdown? by the way, it people said it before The Rock. I gotta point that out. I've right, heard it before right. The Rock. I remember as a kid, you know, hearing it, a teenager, or whatever. But I think The Rock came it. up with. I'm gonna lay, lay the Smackdown, lay it, the Smackdown, Smackdown on Hotel, on all this and that. Yeah. So, anyways, he made it popular, so they named an entire show... Show after. Off, yeah, and then for millions of times, when The Rock's on SmackDown, you're on The Rock Show on SmackDown, because it's his phrase. So right, you mix Smackdown, in the fact right. that we're on the 15th anniversary of SmackDown. The Rock's in New York City. Right. And the third thing is, anybody you, the giant swell of network subscriptions happened... Mostly on Sunday, but we'll even say we'll throw Saturday in there too. Saturday, for the first time ever in April, Hall of Fame is going to air live on the WWE Network. The next night, Sunday, WrestleMania, WrestleMania 30. 30, which is free if you're on the network. $10 instead of 70 you can watch WrestleMania for the first time ever. So everybody who signed up on Saturday, their on subscription... On that weekend. On Saturday, your subscription expired on Saturday. Sunday, I believe. And if you subscribed on WrestleMania Sunday, oh, because your subscription the, expired right. on the month, Monday. The month to month. Yeah. 30 days, 31 days. So if right. you signed up on Hall of Fame Saturday, your subscription, ex- in it, and you get the six-month uh, commitment, so your subscription, if you signed up on Hall of Fame Saturday in April, you subs- you expired on Saturday. Moral of the story is... Hold on. Moral of the story on WrestleMania is- Sunday, WrestleMania 30 Sunday, if you signed up that day, which more... More people sign up that day than anybody. For WrestleMania, right? That expired on Monday during Raw. Moral you know, of the story Raw. is, if you signed up for WrestleMania 30, the your day of the show original or the day six before, yeah. month subscri- subscription up. expired this weekend or on Monday. It expired on Sunday or Monday, uh, depending on when. If you signed up, the day yeah. of WrestleMania expired Monday. So what this better way... Monday. So what better way... To get people back into to signing up. Oh, shit, The Rock's back. Let Rock me sign up. Back. You know, so that Absolutely. mixed with SmackDown, his show, right. 15th anniversary. Mixed with, he's in New York City, so he's physically it's able to be time. there. Perfect time. Ryan decided he's going to run with that story. He's going to make sure he's not saying, hey, this is guaranteed he's going to be there. But based on these factors and some other stuff that we can't talk about in the air, you had heard this and that, and there's a good chance he's going to be on SmackDown. We didn't know Raw... We had thought SmackDown, as luck would have it, he was on Raw. So we got to so enjoy Raw more because we thought SmackDown, if he would have showed up tonight at the taping, right. and we're watching SmackDown on Friday and we didn't even read spoilers, we wouldn't be that shocked because we were kind of expecting that. Speaking, We didn't see Raw coming. Real quick, speaking of uh, SmackDown, let me give you a couple yeah, of yeah, very quick people, SmackDown spoilers. Um... The show opened tonight. Stephanie McMahon came out. Uh, spoilers. Turn your speakers down real quick. We'll give you the uh, thumbs you up when yeah, we're yeah. done with spoilers. Thumbs up. Um, the opening segment, Stephanie McMahon comes out, uh, plugs 15th anniversary of WWE SmackDown. Uh, John Laurinaitis comes out, says that he was the general manager of WWE SmackDown. Yeah. Uh, he is followed by Teddy Long comes out. Former uh, uh, general manager. Teddy Long and John Laurinaitis go back and forth on the microphone. 
They all agree, Stephanie, Teddy, and John Laurinaitis. Well, Stephanie used agree. to be the GM before John Laurinaitis. All three general managers okay, are out there. Exactly. Uh, so they all agree that tonight, let's she do... She was the original one. Tonight, yeah. let's do a 15-person versus 15-person match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have seven WWE superstars and the Bull against seven WWE superstars and the Gator. So we've got basically seven on seven, so plus a bull and plus a gator, yeah. 15 on 15. That is going to be the main event. No, that would a be 30 man, seven. 15 on 15. Uh, seven and seven, it would be, that would be eight and eight. That makes 16. Uh, it'd be a 32 man. Or it would, no, it would be a. It would be a you're six, right. It would be, be a 16. 16, 16 man. Uh, what did I say? 30? You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. It's seven on seven. That's 14. Plus a gator, plus an alligator. That's 16. So you've got a 16. My bad. So maybe, uh, for, yeah, right. yeah, we're on our 16th year, so 16 people. I don't know. I didn't read it, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, so they'll, make take another, maybe they'll take another guy. Oh, you know what? I bet it's tonight. seven versus seven. Seven and, and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half because they're midget. You're right. Makes 15. I bet that's it. I didn't I read it, but I'm guessing. No, you're probably okay. right. They're also going to do uh, oh, Dolph. right. Continue. <laughs> hey, wake up. They're also going to do uh, Wake up. <laughs> uh, they're also going to do uh, the, the Miz versus uh, Dolph Ziggler. And uh, as of now, that's, Is it title uh, match? that's all we've got. I don't know if it's a title match. Okay. They have a title match on a uh, main event tonight with uh, Dolph Ziggler and uh, Bo Dallas. Bo Dallas. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right. So anyways, The Rock comes out, interrupts Rusev. We don't have the theme song, but he comes wait, out. Wait, you're right. I, I did fail, man. Uh, you need to get the Raw report because I don't right. remember the uh, exactly. Monday Night Raw. We gotta get the Raw, man. Let's let's Just do let's the. You do the Rock it. rundown. I'll let you do it. Uh, well, Rock came out. I mean, after Lena and uh, uh, Rusev, Jackie left the message. <laughs> oh, did she? Call back, Jackie. Jackie, we we let her go twice yet. Now, man, we don't. Now's the perfect time. We don't want to move on. We don't want to move on from Rusev. All right. That's exactly all right. what she's gonna talk all about. All right, Jackie, call in right now. The Rock comes out and cuts a promo yes. on uh, Rusev and uh, and Lena. Dude, he was awesome. He hasn't missed a step. Hasn't missed a amazing. Beat. Didn't stutter it makes a you miss word. that era of wrestling? And I it said reminds it on you. Last night, did you? Yeah. And it reminds you of how bad shit is now when something that good happens and you're like, God. Damn, that used to be part of How the course. How do we get Jackie's message to play? I'm sorry to cut you off. We can't do that. We can't get it. We can't play it. Okay. We, we got to listen to it first. What if she says something? Come on, play it. I don't really remember. Let's try. All right. Go to, try to go to the voicemails. So Rock cuts this amazing promo last night. I mean, he has not lost a single step. It was it was awesome from top to bottom. Comes out, talks about smearing off. There was one line where he said, I'm going to stick it up your Putin ass or something oh, like yeah. that. Smirnoff has been stuck up your Putin all your, year. Your Putin, which yeah. is awesome with Vladimir Putin. Where are voice The whole like? reference. It's going to be over on the left. Uh -huh. left. Is it? Go. Yes. If it's got a little thing next to it, we can hear the uh, the message that she left. Two messages. Yeah, go ahead. Activity. One go ahead. minute ago. Right. Did you hit? No. It, it's just a hang up. It's just a hang up? Yeah. Is there another one from it? No. All right. Jackie, call us back, man. We're talking yeah. about Rusev One, three, and time, The yeah. Rock. Alina from delay. last night's WWE Raw broadcast. You're right. There is the There she delay. is. <coughs> Miss Jackie. Hey. hey. Hello. 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 Hey, Jackie, let's, before you get started, last night's Raw. You, every week, are focused on one or two characters, one segment every show. Rusev and Lena, what are they doing? What did you think watching Rusev and Lena thinking it's another week, another Rusev and Lena segment, and then boom, The Rock comes out. What did you think of last night's Raw? Wait, 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 wait. Jackie, 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 wait a minute. Before you answer Boone's question, before you answer Boone's question, last week, we talked about something else, and let me say to you, nobody circles the wagon. Oh, the lions like and the, the bills. Buffalo yeah, yeah. Bills. Listen, we made Jackie lost the good, bills. It was a good football game. There you go. I, I'll admit that the Bills are a very good team this yeah, year. Yeah. So are my Lions. Even though that we've had a few injury problems. Exactly. Joy Bell is well, out. She's well, right. The Lions are a better team. Jackie, what did you think of last night's Raw? Funny you should mention Bell because he went to Wayne State with my cousin. They really? played on the Wayne State football team together. Oh, cool. Nobody hey. circles the wagon uh, like the buffalo. We got to get going. Come on, 
I right, know, George, uh, Ryan. I'm sorry. Forgive me. No, no, don't. Don't yeah. apologize. Me and you are oh, go. We got Ryan James. And Thank we're you, Jackie. Jackie, what do you, you think Jackie, of Jackie, I appreciate it. What do you think of Raw, Jack? I will give it an A plus, but The Rock, uh, no, no. You, you, everyone knows that you don't get another wrestler's woman or call her a street walker, and I am, I'm not, I'm not happy what what he said to her. I'm like. Ex- Excuse me, hello. And you know, everyone knows that they're friends. I saw a picture of them together at a WrestleMania, the Freedom yep. Together at a WrestleMania party. I'm on Instagram. I follow Lana on Instagram. I can't believe I hope they're she's friends. not listening. I know. And, I know. You know but the, how about the Rocks, pro- Jackie? How about the Rocks promo last night? I mean, come on. He was on his game. He was he was pretty freaking good last night. I'll give his promo an A, but still, you don't diss another wrestler's woman. <laughs> hey, he put over I, Lena. I, I smell he, he a did. match at okay, WrestleMania yeah. put, 31 between those two. I honestly do. Because I read the article earlier, and I'm like, oh, man. But Jackie, Rock, what have you done? But Jackie, he put over Lena as a very beautiful woman, as he said in person. And there's rumors, there's backstage rumors that maybe, now it's considered doubtful, but maybe... That was the very early stages of The Rock versus Rusev at WrestleMania 31. It's very doubtful. What would you think? Is that a match you would like to see? Would you rather see Rusev against someone else? The Rock against someone else? Or is The Rock, Rusev, the perfect match? I would rather see Rusev against someone else. Okay. Because, who knows? He's going to be coming to a Survivor Series. By the way, it's booking. Because after the theme of Big Show's over, there's been rumors going around. Read what you guys have been putting up on the website that they're going to face each other. R- Rich is going to be U.S. champion by the time Survivor Series rolls around and by the time TLC run- comes around because that's my point. And I possibly see, I, I think I'm seeing Rock Rock versus Rock at uh, WrestleMania this year in case Roman isn't ready to go by then. All right. Hey, but, listen, that sounds good to me. Uh, hernia, inj- hernia injuries are not. Are they are very painful, full to have, and they're not good. Oh, I and know. Yeah, you know, I just hope he gets better. You know, who knows? It might be a triple threat. But, and uh, what, what's going on with Undertaker? Because a buddy of mine had asked me earlier to ask you guys about Undertaker. What's going on with Undertaker? Is he coming back for Mania or not? Uh, we, you never know with, uh, with the Undertaker at our WrestleMania, but good, good question, Jackie. Listen, call back uh, next week. We'll we're going to get some more right callers, now. but we're going to talk about that right now before we let you go. Be good. Have a good week, Jackie. Uh, the Undertaker, uh, you know, every year WrestleMania, see, I love Jackie. I love Jackie. I fucking she's, love she her. She brings such energy. She's awesome. She's got a you big, know? she's got a lot of energy. When she, she calls in, she hits the ground running. Know, she just said, when somebody gets injured, it hurts yeah. really bad. Listen, she is a diehard. When you talk about diehard wrestling fans, eh? we make fun. We have fun, this and that. Eh? That girl loves her wrestling. You ever been injured? Yeah. It hurts really bad. I've got a broken back to this day. It hurts really bad, right? L4, L5, S1. Does it hurt really bad? Every day I'm stiff, sore. I can't do stuff. Injury stuff? I can do stuff. I can play basketball with you and this and that, but guess what? The next day I go to get out of bed. Uh, it's, right it's torture. Injuries hurt really bad. Yes. I'm telling you guys. Oh, no man. shit. But anyways, yeah. Oh, oh no shit. No shit. Uh, anyways, The Undertaker at, uh, at WrestleMania 30. Um, what do you think, man? I Undertaker mean, and who? Sting? She asked about The Undertaker possibly coming back. We whether it be awesome. Survivor Series. Fuck, I didn't think of that. Yeah, I know. Possibly coming back Survivor Series. Or no, WrestleMania. Not Survivor Every Series. year WrestleMania Series comes, or WrestleMania season yes. comes around, and we never know about The Undertaker, but normally it always comes happens. back. But yes. now that the undefeated streak is over, that's what's questionable. Do we see, let me ask you a yes or no question. Without you expanding, and I won't expand. I'll expand. Can I get one sentence? No more than one sentence. You're going to give one sentence. That's it. All right, I'm going to give a one-word answer. I don't know what your exact question is going to be. I'm going to give a one-word answer. Do we see The Undertaker at WrestleMania 31? My answer, yes. Yes, okay. Okay. My answer, yes, if they can get Sting together. Because Sting Undertaker, like you said, with the streak being over, you can't. I know it's more than one sentence. Fuck off. You can have your joke on done. Sting Undertaker is a match where it doesn't matter about the streak. That's a a once in a lifetime match. Anybody else against the Undertaker now that the streak's broken? I agree. Kind of pointless to do it. But Sting Undertaker, streak or no streak, that's a fucking match. Absolutely. So yes, if they get and Sting, 
is room. We didn't talk about that either. There's Sting and Austin. Sting's rumored to debut on WWE TV late January. In January, but that's according to a Reddit user. But there's also verified insider. separate rumors from Sting himself. I've got big news coming oh, soon, true. or whatever his exact wording was. He's been teasing forever. So Undertaker a DVD coming out. And no, he's no, got no. everything on top of the DVD uh, plug. Man. He said, and mm. beyond that, or also we've got big news on the horizon. Main event of Monday Night Raw, and then we got 20 minutes. Real quick, Austin. I want to spend... Austin. Oh, yeah. Real quick, uh, all right, finish Raw, and then we'll get to Austin, and then Rapid Fire. Okay. You can do Austin in two seconds. All right. Just, no, 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 I want to spend a little bit of time on Austin. What did we say? Made it back. It was uh, Team Rollins against Well, real Kane quick, Joe London. Joe London came out. What did you think of that? Joe London. Uh, and the Brooklyn's listen. response. Talked about it uh, a little bit earlier. Joe London came out. Um, he has breast cancer. We know that this is breast cancer awareness. That's why I got the pink on tonight. Respect. Um, but she came out and caught a promo and basically announced that what everybody knew uh, that she has breast yeah. cancer. And she introduced all the tell you, survivors, she the battlers, the survivors. In the crowd. Yeah. I got to tell you, you're in New York City and going in, and I put this on they Facebook. They shit on Kathleen and, 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 and maybe maybe I worded it the wrong way on Facebook, but listen, you're in New York City, which is one of the toughest crowds in the exactly. entire yes. world. Chicago, as as Philly, New York. Yeah. Chicago, and Philly, and New York. Canada, parts of and Canada. Parts of Canada. Yeah, yeah. They are some of the toughest crowds. So I figured fuck, that Seattle, when Joan London <laughs> came out and she yeah. originally started cutting that promo, I, I said, you know what? They're being respectful now, but the longer this goes, start, yeah. the longer this goes. And then I'm sure, I wasn't there live, but I'm sure that there were a few people in the crowd, oh, a few yeah. talk. People that up. are yelling out, shut the fuck up, things yeah. like that, and everybody in the Boring. section that was, yeah. you know, shut up, the turn, turn around. There's always going to be that douchebag guy, yeah. but the fact that is, that would be if they're behind us, that, bore it. We'd be like, guys, have some fucking respect, have some class, right? And that would shut But the fact off. is, nobody heard that on it's television on last night. And yeah. when Joan London was cutting that promo last night, and she went on for probably a good five minutes, she did. Um, and and so like crowd, introducing one by one these the cancer survivors. And the crowd, that's the kind of stuff that that's the kind of stuff the crowd would. Shit on for every survivor and the archery crowd. crowd. They were okay. into it, man. Uh, they were into it. Listen, you gave, gave me credit on Facebook. Me. I put it up on Facebook. You said, I'm I proud of said, Brooklyn or whatever I said, you said. kudos to, to yeah. the Brooklyn crowd for being so and respectful that's true. last night. It is, uh, listen, it's a good cause. It's very it cool. It needs to be addressed. Uh, it's so awesome that WWE, whether it be the Make a Wish, whether it be you know how that started, for, right? The Susan awesome. G. Komen uh, partnership. So awesome. I mean, you've got three million people. Um, I, I don't. John Cena has a family member with cancer, oh, so he? he specifically requested they team up with this Susan G. Komen Foundation. And Stephanie said it on an interview leading into Raw on Monday during the See, weekend. And that's I didn't know that's, that. You know what, dude? That's another thing. See, this is a class is, act. We come on here every week, and you and I say John Cena cuts these corny promos. Everybody on the uh, internet, hold on a minute. Everybody on the internet blasts John Cena as being this corny character. But listen, let's look at the amount of travel this guy does. Let's look at the Make a Wish. I think injuries, he leads, recovery time. I think he's he back leads. Soon. I think he leads the most Make a Wishes ever oh, by far. Any celebrity. Yes. I'm, I'm talking Hollywood. I'm talking sports star. He I'm holds the record. Yeah. He holds the record by, by leaps far. And bounds, yeah, yeah. By yeah. Leaps like not even close. This guy goes if he's in California and he's needed at Monday Night Raw. He'll take a 12-hour flight to California, a 12-hour flight back, back yeah. to New York City, jet. something yeah. like that. You know what I mean? This guy is a workhorse. The Make-A-Wish stuff, the Susan G. Uh, Komen stuff. He'll get stuff injured. It'll be he six months until he's like, supposed to come back. He'll be back in two. And, and not only that, but whether you and I or any of you guys want to admit it, this guy he does is more the, media. He's I mean, the he's top is, merchandise seller in yes, WWE. Correct. He's the most popular guy among kids. I gotta correct you on the promo uh, thing, though. The guy, the John Cena is WWE's guy. Yeah. Whether you like it, whether I like it, whether yeah. you like it. Well, but here, real quick, guy. you had you had said in the beginning of that rant, you had said, or the beginning of that that point you're making, you had said. We come on and trash The Rock for corny promos every week, this and that. I have gone out of my way. I said The way. Rock. I said Cena. I mean Cena, I'm sorry. We trash Cena for corny promos every week. I have said many times, you can go listen to the archives. If he's not doing the cheesy, I'm trying to be a comedian tonight, if he's serious. Yeah, he's great. He's fucking great. He's awesome. He's dude. awesome. 
All right. So yeah, no, I got to give him props. WWE and I do has want him cater to kids, you know. And listen, yes. What is the future of WWE? It's the kids. It's the, it's the five or six They're year the olds. They're the PTA. It's the five or six year olds right now that are going to grow up to become teenagers. The only reason the show is profitable, it's a successful business. It's the reason the merchandise and things like it's that. It's the way they do the show. It's clearly Dude. catered to children. If The Rock wasn't on last night's show, we'd be sitting here saying that is the worst Raw I've ever seen in Look my at, life because. Like, like, but that's because we're over 20 or over 30 years old. If we were 10, we'd be like, oh, man, look at my, awesome last look at my Dolph nephew. Ziggler and the Dolphin. Look at the, my nephew. In the, in the dinosaur. Look at my nephew, Jacob, out there. Yes. He's two years old. He loves it. And he's, he's fights, mesmerized the fights, by the it. The fights are right. He loves it. He does one, two, three yes. on the table, one, right? One, two, three. Listen, in yeah. 10 years from now, Jacob is going to be 12 years old. He's going to be the guy watching WWE. So... Yeah, John Cena's a guy. He's their top star. They're trying to bring kids that are five, six, seven years old. They're the future of the. It's uh, the for same us, way for you guys that are 25, 30, even twenty years old. 20, 25, 30, Do you know why? Years old, we look at this and we say John Cena is so corny. But you got to be able to respect what they're doing for the kids and getting the kids involved. It's Going the back. same as the cigarette companies that would hook children at twelve or thirteen. You know why? Because now you got somebody who's going to live 70 years that's going to buy your product, yeah. and it's, a, it's an addictive product. So they got if they hook you at 12, <laughs> they got 70 years of every day you buying a pack They're of cigarettes. They're trying to hook these younger kids. If you kids, hook a five-year-old on WWE, little. which is, I got hooked at five, and, and you were lucky that you had the Attitude Era when you were a teenager and it was cool. Right. I was hooked as a kid with the same product, and I'm about to write a comment about this. The same product that's airing every week. Nowadays, right, is the same shit when I was a little kid that would air. But you and, and I, I no, kid, no, 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 you and I grew up in the Attitude Era. No, I which did not. Like, I did. I did not. I was a fan ten Hogan, years before the Attitude Savage Era. Oh my God, Steamboat, like right, 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 right. everybody, and they were the cheesiest. And it was corny back then. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, the, with the split screen. Oh, earlier today, as the guys coming to the ring, they did it with the Usos, I think. And they're who did the Usos? They made fun of the Stardust. Remember the yeah, Usos when they're coming out? Right, right. That's the kind of shit. The split screen interviews while they're coming out. They would right, do that right. shit. It was all kiddie commercials. Everything was childish and shit. But right. when I was a fucking young kid, five, six years old, spoon, yeah. spoon. I ate it up with a fucking spoon. Kids of today, John probably Cena. doing the same thing. John you know Cena is their Hulk Hogan. We come on here. John Cena Absolutely. is their Hulk. Hogan. Absolutely, and we come on here every week, and we see a John Cena promo, and you guys talk about it in the chat room, and Boone and I talk about it on there. That was the corniest yeah. shit I've ever seen. But you Half know what? Time. But you know what? If you're a seven, eight, nine year old kid, you are eating that up. And with the thing that's home. different about with Cena home. than Hogan. Cena's Half the time, Cena's doing the corny, cheesy kids. But if you get him against The Rock, or you get him against CM Punk. Someone who's gonna fucking you've really got the make adult crowd, and then you've got the he can the do both. Right. You've got the kid. He right. can do both. When him and the Rock were going heading into WrestleMania, he was holding his own with the Rock. We there's there's times where we bash Cena about how corny he is, this that, and the other thing. But on the other side, on the flip side right, of the coin, gotta get, you got <laughs> you got to respect the guy's Real, attitude. You got to respect. Absolutely, dude. Yeah. He hustle loads your respect. Gotta respect. It sounds dude. corny, but the motherfucker does it. One more phone call. We got to get the, the, end the end of We got to get Austin. We already did the uh, the main event. I told it's you we got to get Austin. Right. Paul, you're on the air. What's going on? What's on your mind? What's cracking, fellas? What's up, buddy? Hey, um, two quick things. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I was happy to see The Rock last night too, but. His segment came on right after the, oh my god, that Dolphin. stupid alligator crap. Yep, yeah. And I had just like said, all right, you know what, I'm done with Raw because this is so stupid and I changed the channel and I just happened to come back when Rusev was on and then I saw The Rock and I was like, I was wondering how many people did what I did and was like, oh my god, this is crap and decided to change the channel and might have missed it because his segment came on right after that. So, it, and that's what I did, and I just happened to come back around when he was on, and then I saw him come out, and I was like, oh, I'll be damned, I didn't, but I thought that was pretty uh, um, funny. And then what do you guys think is going to happen with John Cena and Seth Rollins and in Hell in the Cell? I mean, I mean, um, with um, him and Ambrose, who, who, whoever wins in that same night gets 
Seth Rollins. How do you think they're going to go with that? Do you think we'll Ambrose run, is going to we'll win and get the, Rollins? Uh, what do you, cause I'm getting a little tired of it now. Seeing we'll run, we'll run down the main event, and then we'll get into uh, Hell in the Cell. But what were you going to say about his, uh, his uh, first No, question first was, question, uh, it's very funny that he brought that up, because I would have forgot if he didn't say it. Uh, this guy keeps reminding He did it last week. He reminded yeah, yeah. us about something. I'm like, oh, fuck. Buffalo on the line. Thank God. No, it was something, the maybe it was that. It was something else that somebody said last week. We're like, oh, thank God this guy said that, because I would have forgot. There was a million comments I read. Because me and you have to watch Raw beginning to end because of work. Right. A million fans that watch it casually, they don't have to. Right. And I read a million comments where it's like, Are you kidding me? I just got sick of the fucking dolphin, alligator, bunny, dinosaur bullshit, yeah, yeah, yeah. turned it off, and now you're telling me The Rock out of fucking nowhere came right. on? Right, yeah. He just brought it up, and it's, it's great because a million comments I read were exactly like that. Like, oh my god, I got so sick finally that I turned it off when the alligator bullshit had... Right. And then The Rock came on. So that is hilarious that he brought that up because I saw a lot of comments like that. And I can imagine, if I'm a fan that doesn't have to watch it for work, right. that's probably right around the time I would turn it off too. So it might have been a strategic move by Vince and right. Right. Like, Let's position this right after this goofy bullshit right. Right. so that people either regret it or if they turn it off and they hear on Twitter, hey, The Rock's on, they turn it back on. Right, right. You know, uh, and, and then to finish up Monday Night Raw here, well, uh, we'll get the uh, Thanks for the question. call, by the way, man. Um, they had, uh, it was Team Rollins. His second uh, question. Came, yeah. It relates to this. I know. The hell in the main event. So, but, uh, so the main event, it was uh, John Cena won via disqualification fairly quickly. Well, they, they started um, off with Rollins like they promised. And then he, like I told you, I said, the, right. the whole gimmick is, Obviously, the same way the opener was, Ambrose gets his hands or Cena gets his hands on Rollins, he runs away, he doesn't really get him. Right, yeah, Ambrose right. gets him in the crowd, but he runs away, he doesn't really get him. Right. And that's been happening for weeks. It's who right. can get a hold of Rollins first. Cena and Ambrose are dying to both do it. Who can get him? And nobody's able to get him. Triple H promises, hey, you guys will get, or you got, you Cena, Cena, you'll get your hands on Rollins because he has to start the match. And I told you as soon as I heard that, I said, I guarantee you. They start the match, he turns around and either tag or they lock up and he gets thrown and then right. tags and gets, he's right. not gonna get his hands on. Him. Right. That's the angle. And right. his question was the match was set, like you said, after this or during this at some point. No, it was after this. Right. because uh, I was doing play and I think I'm done. Right. Oh no, here's Triple H announced <laughs> seven hundred matches right. for how And what did Triple H announce? He uh, announced after Cena versus Ambrose at Hell in a Cell. At the Hell winner not only gets to go on later in Hell in a Cell to face Seth Rollins, they get him inside the Hell in a Cell cage. Right, right. So his question was, who do you think, basically his question was, who do you think wins that match and gets to fight uh, Rollins? I think Ambrose. I'm going to say Ambrose because Ambrose has, a, has They've got a the hell of a role yes. lately. And the crowd reactions right. when Ambrose is, is hot. When Cena gets him, it's almost like, who cares? Yeah. And so. yeah, but Cena is their golden boy. You know what I mean, dude? True. You, just, you never know. All right, listen. Uh, one Literally rapid sentence. fire. Thanks. Yes, because spit we got to get out of here. Yes. Oh, you literally spit on me. You want to Back up off me. Turn this a little <laughs> bit this way. And what then you need from me, buddy? You start. Go you ahead. ready? Me start? You start. Here we go. Tom Nelson with the Wyatt family splitting. Will Bray Wyatt turn baby? We didn't talk about that. They answered. Uh, they had Austin. The, Austin, real quick, cool, real quick cool with the Wyatt. They had okay. the vignettes last night. Mm -hmm. Further hyping Luke Harper specifically. I think Harper's going to so be Harper's going off on his own. And okay. his question is. Because of them splitting up, is Bray going to be the face? And Har I see Harper as nothing but a heel. There's, There's no way that they guy's are going face. to call the Ascension up from NXT and have right. them align with Bray. Uh -huh. That means that Harper and Rowan would go their separate ways. So you would have Bray Wyatt is basic is basically replacing. Rowan and Harper oh, the Ascension with the are Ascension. Replacing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, listen, I didn't hear that. That makes sense, I guess. So, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Uh, there's also talk about doing a Wyatt Family movie, the Sasuke Twins. They want to do they one, They want to do it real bad. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they're working on See, See No Evil 2 for WWE. No, no, movies. he's the guy that... They, those are the twins. They directed... They helped direct See No Evil 2. Twins are girls, by the way. Yeah, yes. and yes. they also worked on Vendetta, which I think was John Cena. Okay, John Cena. But um, WWE films, yeah, WWE Amber. Studios. Yes, so, WWE Studios okay. project. Those are the two. Right. Cena Lockdown was that. Uh, Austin, you said you wanted to get that out of the way. Yes. Austin himself on last week's podcast, he had a bodybuilder slash kind of wrestler guy on the show, and then just in a, in a very casual way, because I listen to all the podcasts, as you know, he just basically outright said, "Yes, I am in the middle of training 
very hard for a comeback. For a comeback. He didn't now say he for what. Comeback. He didn't say for what. Yeah. What the fuck else would he be coming back to? Movies. A lot of rumors. And Jim Ross came out in his podcast and today, denied it. Or no, his blog, his blog yeah. today and said uh, that. All right. What do we got next? Uh, uh, but anyway, no. John. Supposedly training for a WrestleMania 31 match, possibly WrestleMania 32, because 32 is in Dallas. Yeah. Dallas is Texas Stadium. They need a major match to fill yeah. Texas Stadium. Austin against anybody fills Texas Stadium. That's 32. I mean, Austin's but, yeah. already training for a comeback now. He maybe got maybe a year he's and training half. for now. Maybe he's training for the next year. He said himself. A year and a half. In the past, he said in the past, it would take a solid six to eight months of nothing nonstop training. Well, if he's training now, then he's got a year and a half. Yeah, but he could be training even earlier because he wants to make sure he's, you know, good to Could go. be. Could be. Because you got to get back in ring shape, too. John, not just physical shape. Uh, John. John Kern says, are we going to see The Rock versus Rusev at a pay-per-view soon? Would you like to see it happen? We answered that earlier. There's rumors. You know, WrestleMania 31, everybody considers it doubtful, but some people were like, hey, what I, about this? I think The Rock's return last night on Raw was a one-time deal. It came I'll in. Answer. It was to promote Rusev. It was to put him over. It's a rookie guy, The Rock. He's in the ring with The Rock. Yes. yes. The Rock has said many times in multiple interviews, the only way I ever come back to the ring for a match, not an appearance like last night, but a match is if it tops what I did last time, which was the Cena shit, once in a lifetime Gotta dream a match. Big name star. Rock and Rusev is not bigger than... They better start hyping the shit out of Rusev yeah. if they want Rock versus Rusev. All right, Matt Johnson, what about them? awesome white family promos uh, last yes, night's yeah. yes yes uh, last night's promo teased it's coming written on a pregnant woman sister Abigail is coming I didn't know the I didn't woman? pay attention that close with those kind of promos I remember Undertaker's promos in the past you'd really read into it a like, pregnant woman I didn't even catch I didn't it see that. I'm didn't writing see that. so I can't watch we'll but. see what happens though the white family schedule to us split up so Steve we'll Williams Jr. says do you think Finn Balor I, I think that's how you say it Finn Balor Finn Baller I think it's Finn Balor Prince Devitt right, right. Prince Devitt uh, could be the next thing he asks. Is it what is it the face paint? Face paint? He's, he's much not wearing the face paint down in NXT. He's not. I don't believe. I don't believe. Because he would do the face paint and the body paint and the neck paint. Like he oh, would have it all. I and he's... I think it's such a cool thing. If they don't let him do that, they're dropping the ball. Because that is a cool shit. Well, El, Nobody's El, really done that. El Generico used to wear the mask, and he's now Sami Zayn. The mask is different. Mask is nobody, different. nobody, you know. All right, uh, John Morgan, don't feel bad about fantasy football. What do you think of Finn Balor, 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 by the way, as a name? Finn Balor. I know. That's I a know. dumb fucking and name. And Kevin Steen's going to come up with a new name. What do you think about Hideo? Hideo Itami? Itami? I think that's stupid, too, but he's Japanese, so it to be, be kind of Japanese. Oh, what's the other guy I think the only there? reason they changed Kenta is because every letter was in capital letters, and yeah. they probably didn't want that. I don't know. Uh, John Morgan, don't feel bad about the fantasy football loss. Boone, I only have two wins, but the other one is against Clark. Uh, one of mine's against Clark, too. Fuck in you, both man. leagues. Fuck you, uh, Mike Engler? I wish I didn't send you t Mike Engler says, you, bro. What is yours and Boone's favorite promotion besides TNA, WWE, and ROH? Ring of Honor. Oh. Uh, besides besides those three, I don't know. Uh, you watched FWE the other night, right? I do like FWE. I what does that stand for? Uh, they Family Wrestling of, Entertainment? Family Wrestling Entertainment. They had a lot of production they issues had the on, the, uh, on the microphone. No, they had uh, Coke Cabana was there. They had uh, the, the Briscoes. The Young Bucks and oh, Young Bucks. Uh, and uh, Hardy whoever else. They had uh, the the Hardys were there as okay. well. They had a lot of big names. They always we didn't talk about Jared's there. commentary either. Uh, Paul Velasquez yesterday UFC on Fox's Facebook page posted the following quote: Should UFC make a play to get Brock Lesnar when his WWE contract expires? End quote. And his uh, question UFC's Facebook. Page? Post? Yeah, uh, it was a poll. Okay. Uh, and Velasquez's question after that quote goes on to read, Do you think they'll make a play for Lesnar once his contract expires? He does hold the record alongside GSP for pay-per-view buys. Not alongside. He destroys GSPs. The only reason people say that, UFC 100, their biggest show, which is like 1.6 million buys, right. was Lesnar Mirror 2, and the co-main event was GSP Tiago Alves. All right, so do you think one point? Show, right, right. Do you think 1.6 million people will tune in to see GSP versus Tiago Alves? Nah, just a no Fun dude. fact. Yeah. That fight, GSP Alves, was set up the night we were in Vegas. Was it? GSP fought uh, BJ Penn. Yeah. Yeah. Beat him, and after that, they had Tiago Alves come in the cage, if you remember. Yeah. And they did the interview face to face with GSP and yeah. Tiago Alves, we setting up UFC right. 100. We were there. Biggest show we ever. There. Yeah. Uh, Mike Angler, are you ready for Tom Brady to beat your Bills down next? Did week? he play? 
Next to uh, Tom Brady played the bench entire him at all? Okay. game. I started him in fantasy. I forgot to ask. Finally, he finally lit it up Did for he? me this week. So he's probably good. getting. Uh, but the Bills got uh, the Patriots next week. See you next week, New England fans. John Morgan Ooh. said we didn't have a chance against Detroit. Blow me. Here we come. John Patriots. Morgan says any chance we'll see a five way Hell in a Cell with Cena, Orton, Ambrose, Cannon, Rollins? No, they've already announced it's Cena, Ambrose, and Orton against announced. Rollins. Yeah. Jay Mullen, boom. That's me. Here, go oh, ahead. Good. Jay Mullen says, Boone, lately you have been saying something of being second to posting your own opinion. Oh, I'll explain that. What's that supposed to mean? Clark is posting your opinions as his first question? Because uh, that would make sense as I see it all the time laughing my ass off. And more MMA related editorials, please. All right, so he wants more MMA editorials. Can, I, me. can I answer this? Real quick, you you, can, uh, no, I'll, just, I'll say one line. It's not even derogatory. You had said earlier in the night, the Roman Reigns thing is a perfect example. I had told you that, and I didn't want to post it on Facebook, but I had said it to you. I think, I think I think, he's talking about the Rock post yesterday that we were talking about earlier. I got word earlier yesterday afternoon that the Rock was no, going no, no. to be in town for Monday Night I Rock. I can tell you exactly what it is. Boone came in and said that, you know what, in yeah. addition to the Rock being in town for Raw... There's also the SmackDown it tagline. Was, it was and Jim Ross's that. Battleground uh, commentary. I was telling you how it sucked, and you hadn't even started watching it yet. When I told you it sucked, you went on and said it sucked, and I posted on Facebook, well, since I guess I'm second to post my own opinion, I actually said that phrase, which we bring it up. Okay. So it was the Jim Ross right. thing. Which right. you want to get that out of the way real quick? What did you think? You watched. I, once I told you, you thought it was in, terrible. I, and listen, you watched like two hours of the show, so you heard enough he, to know. I thought it was really good on boxing. Uh, when he I called didn't think boxing, he was that good on boxing. I thought he was pretty good on boxing. Okay. Uh, UFC needs a lot of work. MMA. That's MMA. MMA. I mean, if he was doing UFC, Battle and I think that's part of it. If it was fighters we knew, right? Because those were no names, right? If yeah, it was yeah, fighters yeah. you know, he might be able to spruce it up, and make it cool, right. Yeah, right? But yeah, where are we at? Paul Velasquez, uh, Paul Jay, Velasquez. Junior Dos Santos versus Stipe Miocic and Alistar Overstream. A UFC fan, is time, man. I like to see that. Versus Stefan Struve predictions. That's UFC on Fox. 13, I believe. Uh, that's the main uh, I gotta go JDS and uh, I'm a big fan of Overeem. So JDS and Overeem. Yeah, I'll go same. Yeah, same thing. Alright, no doubt. Uh, Vincent Nugent, uh, what are WWE's actual plans for the Wyatt family? Cut off. What are WWE's actual plans for the Wyatt family? If you keep reading, it's, it's fair. Right. Uh, will Eric Rowan and Luke Harper be free from Bray or will they be be replaced by two new members. Talked about that earlier. I didn't hear the Ascension. With the Ascension okay. possibly being called up to the main role. Anthony roster. Remy, Dean Ambrose heel turn, question mark. Uh, eventually in the future, absolutely. Dean Ambrose is going to be an awesome heel. He's going to be one of he the best heels be we've seen in awesome a long time. Heel. But for this time being, no, he's clearly a face. Uh, Vincent Nugent again. Hey, Ryan, even you two met. I'm not the only one... Uh, I'm not the only one that does long, long rapid, rapid fire like comments, you know, so suck it. <laughs> uh, looks at Paul Velasquez's comment, Jay Mullins, and even Christopher Brown. I mentioned Christopher There's Brown. There's my proof, Too long. Sucker. You're right, man. There's a lot of people besides Jose you. Jose Lewis says, says you does, Lucha un- Jose Lewis says, does Lucha Underground have a chance of succeeding, smiley face, and will you Smiley's ever face. unblock PMs? I don't know what that means, PMs. Stephen Kelly and Steve Davis, he's talking to you. I don't know how to unblock people. I thought Stephen Kelly was still on here, but I don't know. I thought I could see Stephen Kelly coming. I'm not, it's your page. I don't know do. Um, teach me how to unblock, and I can do it. Um, let's see. Christopher Brown. Any further news about Austin training we'll for another match? We'll talk about that. Take uh, email. Way, I sent Ryan, you something. You've got to read it, and boom. Taking over here? Oh, he's telling you. Check your email. No, I was after. reading it. Oh, took over. I, you said what's next? I thought you were going down. All right. Uh, by the way, by the way, Ryan, check your email after the show. I sent you something. You have got to read. Got and to read. and boom. Your Detroit Cryins. Oh, instead of lying. Ah! Sign that ex Broncos. Sign that ex Broncos drunk. Uh, what is that? Do you? I hate to say that. Driving under the influence. Driving the kicker to a one year deal about an hour ago or so. Miss Jason Hansen yet? Oh, oh your kicker. They, right. they got rid of Jason Hansen. Yeah, they he must is. Have. He's old as fuck. They it must makes have. sense. Jason Hansen's a good kicker. It's a new Newton says, "Do you guys advocate and support breast cancer awareness with the way WWE are doing Susan G. Komen this month for October?" See the pink brother. Enough said. Absolutely. Um, Nick D. TNA Bound for Glory We don't have the card. Uh, we don't have the card, man. We're going to have to do that. That's uh, this weekend. This Sunday. I'm sorry, man. I don't do you want to do card. a Bound for Glory hour special this weekend? Uh, how we could if we have time. Possibly. No promises? No promises. Probably not. Probably, Probably not because it's taped and it's not even that big of a fucking show. Jason Hansen. 
Jason Hansen, not the Detroit Lions kicker. Ryan says, will never unblock these two clowns. Oh, no, it's Jazz. No, it's for me. Uh, Ryan, for his Jason Hansen, reports, the Detroit Lions kicker. Left my ass off. PMS, Vintage Jose. If they bashed every post that I do, I'm not going to unblock them, man. Vincent Nugent says, What do you guys think about Jessica Havoc? Is it, I thought her was just, name was just Havoc. That's TNA. It, it is Havoc. Okay. Uh, overall, plus her being the TNA Knockouts champion, beating Kale Kim last week's edition on from last week's edition of Impact Wrestling. Uh, uh, I, I didn't seen it. see Impact, man. So I, can't I didn't tell see you. Impact. Uh, Ian Jones, can Chris, I get an no, update no. on my T-shirt? Yeah, brother. Listen, dude. I, I sent thought you he an said email. He got it. I sent you an email yesterday, man. I said, yeah, I got your email. You sent four or five different emails, man. I got them all. I I'm not privy to, to these conversations. Uh, Chris Curtis, amen. Second that. Not sure what he's talking about. I think he's talking about the Gil Kim thing. Uh, Vincent Newsom again. Did you guys watch the following MMA uh, events from this past Friday and Saturday? I didn't actually, see. we did. We watched, watch Battle, we watched Battlegrounds. Watch MMA? I watched Battlegrounds. I didn't see Oh, uh, I didn't watch the UFCs, no. All right. No, I did the uh, results and shit. David Hadley. Is that it? Oh, David Hadley says, Are you at all interested in TNA Buff Clear on, oh, on really? Sunday? Is it Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. It, it's Saturday in Japan, Sunday in America. Right, right, right. Um, it may not have a lot of build, but there are wrestlers I've never seen before, and that intrigues me. Um, I'm sure the matches will be good. I mean, TNA oh, always yeah. has good in-ring quality. A lot of tag team matches. But it's like this. It's the same as a good MMA show. If it's great fights and you don't know any of the names, they could be the best fights of all time. Absolutely. It's like, I don't know these guys. I'm not invested personally or emotionally or... Right. You know what I mean? Like, whereas if you know guys, like GSP versus Nick Diaz, you're like, oh, fuck, these two hate each other. It's this big thing, and then the fight's awesome. It's that He's much better. He's one guy we don't know. I don't know. We don't know. I've I heard know. the names, but I've never seen them. Probably going to be really good matches, yeah. though. Um, Vincent Nugent, again, uh, or uh, David Hadley. Yeah. Do you think Michael Elgin really quit Ring of it's Honor, or is it a work? I do not think it is a work. I you don't think it's a work? I thought it was yesterday, and what then I read, it's not? I read his statement on Facebook today okay. that he put up just a couple of hours ago, um, a long statement on Facebook where he thanked Ring of Honor for getting him back from Canada, for getting him back from Canada, and uh, basically said that I don't appreciate being advertised for a show that I'm not going to appear on. He thanked the fans, Sounds thanked like the work. ROH fans, and said, I think uh, Michael... I'll vote work, you'll vote not work. I will vote not okay, work. Okay, I vote work. Uh, Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's up? How you doing? How you doing, man? What's up, man? What's on your mind, buddy? Yeah, uh, did, you, did you guys uh, go to the show last night? Uh, no, my no. boss went to the show in Brooklyn. Uh, we had to stay here and work, so we can't the go to the The funny thing was, I was back, uh, when I got there at the show, there was like a, a, an entrance in the back where they're like, they were, the wrestlers come in, right? So Ambrose walks in, and then he walks out, and I think that's when they did the thing with the train. Oh, with the hot dog? Uh, yeah, oh, no, no, the, the, train, well, the, the segment where he got on train, the train I and left. did it earlier. Yeah, yeah, we're... Okay, yo, so they pre-taped him getting on the train and leaving. Right, and exactly, because I saw him come back, but then all of a sudden the Big Show came back with Orton from the hotel, and then on, and Orton, you know, Big Show stopped by to sign autographs, and then he went back with, with and Orton, he came back with Orton. Yeah, I okay. think I think they pre-taped that segment earlier in the day, the uh, the train right, segment. Right. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. It sounds, and uh, and sounds one more right. question. Let me ask you about Hell in the Cell. Wouldn't it be a great match to have Bray Wyatt against Sting? Oh, I would love it. I, I think they care. Absolutely. Character. Yeah, their Absolutely. characters are both very dark, and if, if they did the right build-up, I think it would be a very fun thing. Not at Hell in a yeah. Cell, but at right. WrestleMania or something, sure, yeah. All right, take care. Have a good show. All right, All right good guys. question, man. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, uh, that guy's a New Yorker. Too. Yeah, he's, there. he's got the <laughs> accent. He's got the accent. Um, All right, uh, a couple more, man. Vincent Nugent, uh, do you guys, did you guys watch Night? Oh, what's Dixie Carter? Did you skip uh, that one? Oh, okay, okay. It was awesome. uh, yeah, the, yeah. Did you guys watch uh, night one of the Family Wrestling you Entertainment did, I did. FWE? Right. I did. I, I was watching really Battle Grounds. They were on at the same time. I know they had the... Uh, yeah, they were. You're yeah. right, on Saturday night. I know they had uh, a lot of production issues for FWE, but it was a free iPay-per-view. I guess they worked was things it free? out. It was well, free. Well, then it's not an iPay-per-view. Do you know what iPay-per-view stands for? They built it up. Paid as per view. A, they built it up as an eye pay per view, oh, but it was a free. It, yeah, like a wrestling show. Yes. It's a free pay per view, but a free pay per view. But right. listen, we just brought it up. Battlegrounds and May. Jim Ross's commentary. What did you think? I, you know, we talked about it just a couple we, minutes we ago. We spent but, two seconds on it. I enjoyed what his boxing. What wasn't bad I enjoyed about his boxing. Uh, he was just. He was too pro wrestling for MMA. I agree. That's a very wrestling. vague explanation. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, by it, was, it was, was very. 
He was trying to be like telling stories and this and that. Chael and was awesome. Chael was great. Chael was, Chael was awesome. doing the actual play by play. Yes. Jim Ross was the color commentator. They should have reversed roles. Well, they couldn't because Jim Ross doesn't. He, he doesn't, he doesn't enough, see. Right. Oh, right. this guy just passed his uh, arm. He's just setting up for a triangle. Right. He doesn't right. see that shit coming. I know as astutely know. as his son does, which is funny because in pro wrestling, Jim Ross historically has always been the play by play guy. Always been the play by play guy. And Jerry Lawler's his I color know. commentator. Paul Heyman's his color commentator. And it was reverse roles. Maybe that was the problem. I, I'm not. That's just seeing Jim what Ross I was. In that yeah, role. that's what I was trying to say. Is that it was him out of his zone trying to do color commentary. And we've only got one left. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it was out of his comments. It was under out of his comfort zone, so it, it didn't know. feel natural. That's what it was. It didn't feel like it was. It's not the Jim. It's Ross not Jim Ross. To, it's man. not Jim Ross. And yes. then if you factor in the fact that it's a bunch of no names, but the fights were boring. Let's put it this way: if the fights were great, yeah. and he's adding all this. Hey, this guy, oh, was, he was this guy screaming and, and exactly. Else. Yeah. Not yeah. only would he be getting to fucking do his sound bites and excitement calling, which he didn't get to do because they suck. But him saying, "Oh, this guy just got hit, and Absolutely. he's not going down, and he's got two kids and a wife, and he needs will, this money for public." That would be say, great. But the fights suck. You can't. And there were no names. You can't judge one event, one MMA. No, I, I mentioned that in my comments. Let's give him some time. No, I said if, if you're being honest. Let's give him some time. Hey, it might even just be a case of that was a different style of commentary that I'm not used to. First MMA fight. Yeah. My example was when Mauro Renat, you remember back in the day in Pride, I don't know if you want to. It was Steven Quadros one more. and one Boss more. Rudin. And then Mauro Ronaldo, who does Showtime Boxing to this day. Right. When Mauro Ronaldo took over from Stephen Quadros, I fucking hated him. Because he was replacing. The same way when Paul Heyman took over for Lawler and it became no more Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler. It's Jim right. Ross and Paul Heyman. I eventually grew to like Jim Ross and Paul Heyman. And now you I eventually to like grew to love uh, right. Mauro Ronaldo and Boss Rutten. But right. that first time where it's different, right. you don't like it. And if you give them a chance, like you said, you grow Makes to like minute. it. Caller, last, uh, last phone call of the night. Yes. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? Yeah, you know this guy Vincent Negan that you uh that you have that you have on uh, hey, sir, yeah. fire? He's got a lot of rapid fire questions, yeah. doesn't he? His, his, his name's pronounced Nin. He's what? His what? Nin. Win. Oh, win. Like you're saying, win. Like win, like but, win a game. Yeah. Oh, so we're we're gonna call him Vincent Win. Yeah. We got it, brother. All right, Vincent Wynn. Very important Thank call. You. That's probably movie. that's probably Acer right there. He says, "All right, so the next comment is from <laughs> Vincent Wynn. Wynn. Did any of you guys? Oh, I think that's he's saying that's how you pronounce his last name. Yes, Vincent Wynn. Yes, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, okay. Right, we already took his. Vincent Wynn. Oh, we apologize. No more Nugent. Vincent Wynn. Vincent Wynn. David Hadley. What do you think of Jeff Jarrett? Uh, Gold like Hoda Hoda Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> being the U.S. pay-per-view distributor of New Japan Pro Wrestling's uh, Wrestle Kingdom. Jeff Jarrett teaming with New Japan. What do you think? Yeah, well, the story goes, it's the Jan- we talked about this last week, January 4th, Tokyo Dome Show, annually yes. New Japan's biggest show of the year. Supposedly, uh, allegedly, reportedly, Jeff Jarrett's upstart Global Force Wrestling, GFW, will co-brand the show, and they'll... Be for all intents and purposes the United States or the America uh, cross promotion. The, they'll be the broadcast for America. Okay. It won't even be not a, not a, not. It's hard to explain. Bottom line, though, we should tie this in. Jim Ross, in an interview, said he'd be very interested to call him uh, New Japan. He's, I've got the audio of him saying it. Does he, do he? On my computer or right. on this computer right all now. Right. All right. And then he goes out in his Twitter. And on his blog, he went on a rant, and he said... Confirmed it? No. Opposite. Oh, the... I yeah. know you've heard uh, rumors that I'm interested in doing this and that, but blah, blah, blah. Motherfucker, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you on... I've got audio. I've got you on audio. I can play it right uh, now if you want. Audio of him saying it, and he's uh, denying it and saying, oh, everybody's talking like that's this big interview rumor. That's that you guys did. That he shocked it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dean Mitchell. Dean Mitchell says, thank you for making me your favorite WZR member. Do you know UK? We love you, brother. Uh, uh, David Adley would... My favorite Lance Winter. Winter's Lair. 
I don't have a favorite. And George I mean, Romero there's, there's and John know, Morgan. Now that I think about it, yeah, yeah, John yeah. Morgan. There's too many. Ryan Gale. There's in too there. many of them. All right, uh, David Hadley would Bray Wyatt be better suited as the voice of his monsters instead of a wrestler? I no. Think, like I said, I think they're going to do the Ascension are going to be brought up from the main he's roster. Both. No, but he's saying, Brother. would he be better as the mouthpiece, like a manager as opposed to a wrestler? Right. Fuck no. He's a great wrestler. Too. He's he's a good wrestler. Yeah. Um and uh and a good mouthpiece. Brother. That's a fucking long that show. That is a three hour WZR TV. Exclusive piece. interviews, rapid fire, Let phone calls, raw news. Let me put my beard down. Put your beard or down. Or as a matter of fact, you got a beer? Yes. Don't spill it all over my room and my computer. There you go. Yeah, you don't clang them and set them down. You clang them and drink them. <laughs> You had a great interview right, with buddy. Uh, Jake Shields earlier tonight. If you guys missed it in uh, our numero uno out of a no, 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 numero no. Domero, <laughs> numero trace show, we had yes. hour number one, we had hour number two, and we had hour number three tonight. If you guys missed hour number one, they are going to put a transcript up on MMANews.com, possibly the and audio. And Daniel Humphreys. We'll have to wait and see yeah, what Daniel happens. Daniel Humphreys can hook us up. We'll put the, I'll put the audio up. I'm put the audio up. Uh, Matt Boone in our numero uno from 7 to 8 o'clock Eastern. Eastern time tonight, he interviewed former UFC star and the headliner of World Series of Fighting this 14, Saturday. 14 this Saturday, it's Jake Shields, Ryan Ford, welterweight title, NBC Sports Network, 9 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. Mountain time. Yeah. This guy interviewed Jake Shields in MMANews.com. So check out MMANews.com for that. We want your feedback. Tell them how they can submit Shit, feedback. I don't know, off the top of my head. Matt Boone. Yeah. Top of my head. Yeah. I don't know. Go to yeah. Facebook.com slash. Ryan Clark WZR. That's Facebook.com slash. Matt Boone WZR. We both put up Facebook feedback notes. Oh, so. There you go. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. Let us know what you thought of the show. What did you like? We'll do more of it. What didn't you like? We'll do less of it. This is how we give you the show that you want to hear each and every Tuesday night, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Matt Boone, Ryan Clark. And speaking of Ryan Clark, would you do me a favor and would you get us the mother fuck out of here so I can eat some dinner? Great interview tonight. Thank Jake you, sir. Shields. Thank you. See you guys next Tuesday yes, night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. We want your feedback, like Boone said. Yes. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. Full Matt Boone now. Uh, Ryan Clark saying see you next Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. You know the place, you know the time. WZROnline.com. Fuck! Yeah. 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 Yeah.